Feeling like I'm on the run Live every day just the same This rock star with no fame The way it is for everyone God knows that if I try I might be able to you get by it. Get by as one of the normal ones But take me back home to Boston Back where I know where I belong Back with the Wait. days they seem the same Wait. So I drove off to Atlanta Looking for some home-cooked food Well, the people, they turned away Yeah, they had nothing to say The man, I thought it was kind of new Maybe if I was that kid might just let me in and put me in the right kind of mood. But take me back home to Boston. Back where I know where I belong. Back where the days they seem the same. Security in this office park is a joke. Last year I came to work with my spud gun in a duffel bag. I sat at my desk all day with a rifle that shoots potatoes at 60 pounds per square inch. Can you imagine if I was deranged? The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Coming to you live from Studio 5, high atop the Meadowbrook Building in Metro West Massachusetts, it's the Wicked Business Show. Hello, good evening. It is, what is it? It's uh, the 21st of March. You had me wrong there. Oh, boy. Uh, 2018. It is show number 95. I am Byron. With me as always, Bumpa. And uh, noticeably absent, Patty Cakes. Or Tardy. Tardy. She will be uh, joining us in a little while, I guess. So you have the Tardy slip ready? Yes, yes. Okay. She's right. going to get detention for this well, one? Well, you know, you got to write her up. I know you, you said she's going to get high contract standards oh. on this. And, right? I mean, like holding her high standards on this. And, uh, you know, it's a violation of contract if you miss too many shows. That's and, right. So, well, uh, I'm just... 
Oh, look at you. Got that. Huh? Uh, you haven't even figured out the colors yet, have you? Uh, I, I saw that. I just hadn't bothered with it yet. Okay. Well, so we got some new equipment in the, in the studio. Nothing's going to crash, I hope. No. No. That's, uh... What's happening in the hostel? I finally got myself a computer that works. <whistles> yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, so he's putting all that porn on there. No, no, it's it's practically air gapped. <laughs> it's, uh, there we go. Touchscreen. Why aren't all computers touchscreen? Why you don't like it? Fucking great. Oh, oh yeah. Amazing. I, I can't. I'm dealing with the other laptop over here. Until the day that the, the sensitivity starts to go down on you, bang, 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 you're tapping the shit out of it. I'll be breaking the screen. Yeah. I mean. Uh, it's a Gorilla Glass screen, so... Good for you. Yeah, you need I'm that. Because I know how you get frustrated and shit. Hey, Tiger Lily. We also got Rich in the... Uh, oh, yeah. It's a darker pay. In the peanut oh, yeah. gallery. Oh, my. Oh. Well, you know, on this show, we have a few topics. Uh, you know, because Patty's not here yet. Uh, I'm sure we'll end up in the gutter <laughs> later like we always do. But um, we are going to talk about some serious topics. and uh, Right? And it's not like us, but, you know, we won't... We want to talk about a variety of things, uh, and you know, one thing that always comes to mind uh, for these type of topics. Oh. We haven't heard this one a bit. I was going to play a little bit of it. I don't want to drive you nuts with it, uh, but that's the millennial song, and you know, some of the topics we were talking off air before the show were, were some of the millennial issues, and you know. Uh, all kinds of issues about the guns, uh, you know, that, what's that kid's name? David Hogg, driving me fucking nuts. David Hogg, who the hell's that? He's the, uh, the Parkland student that, he's like, uh... Well, the, the crisis actor? Yes, that's yeah. what you, go, you know, so now he's on, like, every fucking news outlet show that he can get his fucking ass on. Uh, prostate uh, milking will be in the second half of the show after the break. Oh, uh, absolutely. Uh, there'll be some of that. <laughs> that's just kind of how we do it around here. Uh... <laughs> I got to tell you, this whole thing with the touch screen, just easy. I really can't fuck this up. Oh, my. Oh, boy. Um, but, yeah, you know, what we want to talk about, it was one topic you brought up uh, about guns. Um, I just forgot everything. Yeah, right? I don't, I don't Completely to gone. Can we talk about it? And then, you know, he was too busy playing for I was new laptop for 20 yeah. minutes, yeah. playing every fucking song we give two shits about. Yep. Um but, that's but yeah, funny. David Hogg uh, and Rich Head of Socks. You know, as far as the kids, they, they had, there's been a lot of like, whatever, town meeting conversation type things. And uh, he always, not only him, but there's other students they have involved as well. And I just don't get how we can sit there and listen to these 16, 17, 18 year olds tell us how the country should be, you know, or the, you know, how, how a government should handle this or that. They aren't even. The kids themselves haven't even lived yet. They don't know how life is yet. They still live on the mom and dad's roof. They're a bunch of fucking babies. And regardless of, and I don't mean it offensively to, you know, the kids in their right mind, whatever. Um, right, well, whatever. I'm not, I'm not, I this wasn't on video. I, I don't mean it offensively to everyone that's 17, 18 years old. But you have not lived yet. You know, I mean, you probably haven't even had your first car accident yet. There's things like that. You can't. And so how can you sit there and try to dictate to, um, whether it be the NRA, politicians, you know, people, members of Congress, the whatever. EPA, the right. And explain to and tell them, okay. tell them what, how things should be run. I mean, you, you're still fucking getting lunch at school, you idiot. You can't. How do you get? How do, where, at what point? point in life does he suddenly do they suddenly and i don't just want to point out this hog kid but you know i just he, he's the one that everyone remembers most like you said the well, crisis because yeah, he's, he's been he's, on tv yeah, he's so many times with... there, are, there are a handful of them um but he's the most notable but regardless I, you know it just drives me nuts that people and i, I can under, i understand maybe taking a little input from them but th that's it but to sit there and let them pretty much dictate how they think the country should be run as far as making laws and shit is bullshit i mean again well, right now what we're dealing with we are dealing with yeah, the very first virgin. generation laid yet. no and most of them are getting laid at like 12 <laughs> i mean ah. that's just uh just the way it is today right? <laughs> nowadays uh what gets me going is these damn kids this is reverse darwinism 
it, at its at its finest. Yeah. Uh, sorry, adjusting some shit here. Um, we're dealing with the first generation that has ever uh, uh, protested to uh, give up their rights. They want to give up their right to carry a firearm. Yeah. They want to give up their freedoms. This is what this is what the government's been waiting for. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Finally, we can do something with this. I'm not a big fan of government. Uh, I'm not a fan of big government. I want them to keep out of my business. Yeah. Uh, I want them to do what I tell them to. And I want them to just not waste my money. Yeah. So my perception, federal government is, and it's just my two cents, is nothing more than a minimum standard. And that's how I look at it, is the, the, the federal government sets this what needs to happen. And at that point, the, you know, the feds are really to overlook everyone. You know what I mean? As far as general, very generalized oversight as far as the bare minimum laws. You know, that's why like some... Thing, and there's still a lot of conflict, like, you know, marijuana, for instance. Marijuana is still, you know, federally banned. Um, right. Same thing with, like, pot pipes and shit like that. A lot of states have, uh, once they legalize marijuana, they legalize the, quote, paraphernalia. It's still a federal offense. And, you know, yeah, okay, it can't be tried in state court, but, you know, if you want to, somebody wanted to be a dick, you go to federal court for it. Well, what gets me is you're sitting here watching these snowflakes getting on planes, with their medical marijuana going oh, yeah. to like Canada, and Canada's like, oh, yeah, we we, we yeah. don't. I'm sorry, you're going to have to turn around and go yeah. back home, right? Oh yeah, and we're keeping your medical medical miracle marijuana, right? You know? And it, it's you know, although it might be legal state by state, like I said, the feds don't recognize it, so that's still something you can't travel with, you know. Oh. And that's a perfect example there. Just still because. Um, the feds don't recognize it. You know, the feds are still against it. Uh, there's also, I know there's a lot of uh, issues concerning the medical marijuana card because technically if you're issued a medical marijuana state card. State by state still. Right, state by state still. But fed, by federal standard, you cannot get a, you cannot, you're no, no longer eligible for a firearms license. You're not eligible to carry a gun under federal law. Because of it's an intoxication, uh, it's an intoxicant. Because the feds still do not accept legalization of marijuana. Right. So if you have a medical marijuana card, the um, the DEA still holds that. Okay, well that we we still it's still listed as a contraband to them, uh, still a listed item, a substance, and so you cannot. You are no longer eligible for an LT, uh, you know, for license a gun, carry, carry a gun. Yeah. Yeah, I can't say LTC because every state's different, but by federal standard, you are automatically disqualified for a firearm if you get a medical marijuana card. So Tiger Lily asks, do do, uh, do we feel, to, or do I feel, uh, that our generation as teenagers was as involved in policy and lawmaking as teenagers today? No. No. Not at all. No. We did things, uh, but we were treated as kids. Yeah. Right. What do you know? You're sitting in a classroom throwing pencils into the ceiling. At, at best, you had like a, a student council. Um, Which was a lot of horse shit. They just did that just shit a, to teach you what yeah. it's like. And it was, it was a simple like, uh, you know, a middle person as far as between the, the student body and the administration. Which, But like you said, I mean, don't matter. The administration can do what they want. Yeah. It was just simply a way of communicating. What's happened is colleges have taken these seriously. Yeah. And they're letting the snowflakes set policy. Yeah, but that's because, you know... You will not bully anybody at all. Uh, shut up. Because half of the fucking professors and administrators in college are snowflakes. You well, know? Tiger Lily feels we were clueless. Yeah. We didn't really have the issues. Uh, we were in, in the midst, in the 80s, we were in the midst of a massive recession. We were. But, but we didn't so much notice it because that's what life was. Maybe I, I I strongly disagree because a lot of it today we think there's so many problems because of, of one reason social media. Well, that's thanks to the internet and social media. You now hear about a shooting in Maryland, a shooting in in Florida, a shooting out in Washington or something. 
you didn't hear about that unless if you know you stayed up late enough to watch NBC, ABC News, or whatever, and maybe they covered it. You know, it, there was all there was so much news nationally that uh, you know it's not covered in any half hour hour news segment because there's just no, so much shit going but on. But also, we're running a twenty four hour news cycle. Well, we are now, but. You know, we weren't 20, 30 years ago. So that's why you didn't hear about any of that shit years ago. There was no, there was no, there, there were no outlets like we but have you're right. Today. Social media has exacerbated the 24 hour news cycle. Right. 24 new, uh, news cycle was, was the biggest story, the first yeah. big story that America followed minute to minute as it was happening was because of CNN. And CNN back then was trying to do a good thing. When they had credibility. No, they, they were just starting out. Yeah, but it was so, little Jessica in the well. That uh, was the big story, and they were the only ones to follow it twenty four seven. And you were able to get an update every right. half hour. Now you get an update every half hour, but it's the same update that you've heard for the past three hours. Right, and no then, news, so they're no running nothing, a four no. hour cycle that they're updating these half hour bites. Uh, MSNBC, CNN, Fox, but they again, all do the same thing. Again, though, it's it's the volume, the the, level, the the volume of content that they're covering is why you you get that because they'll they'll go to you know like the, the baby fell in the well and then cover thirty other fucking stories and then go back to that and they haven't really got any update because they've been so fucking busy covering thirty other fucking stories. The Tiger Lily says, with social media, the world is now. Our backyard. Absolutely. And I say, I have to agree, and it is filled with gigantic dog bombs that you've got to avoid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was good. Well, that was uh, dinner. I had a real dinner bump ahead. A so sandwich that, call. You that I prepared for. You put two fucking things in a total convection oven, and that was dinner. In a convection oven. Yeah. Uh, if CNN has no new material for the update, they make it up. That's a. That's true. Absolutely. They'll, That's true. And then they'll, they'll apologize for it at two in the morning. Yeah. yeah. When everybody's drunk. Yeah. And, uh, you know, in. I can't recall exactly what it was, but I've seen that too. I literally see watching it and know, see the other channels reporting one thing. No, that's not, that didn't happen this sad, you know, and it, CNN stuck with it, you know, they, they, oh, yeah. well, they, and they end up being wrong. They're, because uh, their source, were, but their source was like some, bo- I forget, something bogus. Forget what it was. They followed it through and through. And like you said, oh, and sometimes they won't even apologize. Well, have you ever heard... They'll just heard, frankly say, you know, make, make a correction, but then it's not like, no apology. Oh, well, no, that didn't happen. Okay, move it on. And then go there, was, there was a regular Howard Stern caller who would used to call CNN constantly. CNN will put anybody, also MSNBC, will put almost anybody on the air live yep. to talk about what's going on. Most recent was that sh- school shooting that was not spectacular enough to have everybody stand up and protest right. out in Maryland just yep. this past couple of days ago great middle high school in maryland yep and uh they were talking to a kid who was in a classroom which uh, should they have done that was uh, i'm i'm thinking wasn't really a in good taste hey, the kids couldn't even talk to their parents and yeah. now cnn is broadcasting this school shooting live on well it, and a lot of it, they're not good because there's nothing here to argue. The point is simply that the gun was owned by the kid's father legally. The, it was the, that gun. So where's the responsibility by the parent? So probably. But nope. It's it's it, it falls on the shoulders of the NRA <laughs> yeah, that, and but gun right. owner legal that's gun owners. Trick, all yeah, yeah, responsible trick, legal gun owners right. all over the country. Well, you know what? All of my guns right now are locked up. You know why? I cracked a beer. Yeah. Got them locked up. Later on, I'm going to go out shooting streetlights. No, I'm Come really on. not. Come on. All right. Not, look, I'll I'm, drive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. You hit the big one. Yeah. You're not supposed to shoot the oil tanks. No. <laughs> yeah. Those, those go up like, Grand Theft Auto right Yeah, there. those don't go up like they do in the uh, movies or video games. And that's, that's what surprises the snowflakes, though they go on mass shooting sprees. Yeah, right. The, the stuff that they set out just doesn't explode. Uh, reality is something completely different to this next generation. Again, because the world is in their backyard. They don't even they won't even go out in their real backyard. They'll go and sit. If you go to a shopping mall today, 90% of those kids are walking into each other cuz they're tweeting or twatting or Facebook or FaceTime or they're they're chatting with each other and sending messages. 
Yeah. Um, now, mind you, it's like that at certain bars, too, because you get some of the snowflakes at some of the bars. <laughs> but uh, And then there's Bumpa, who's always doing his work. He's got his phone, his, his face buried in his phone 24-7. Hey, hard at work. Oh, yeah, that, that's hard at work. Uh, but I do want to give a shout-out that... Um it was St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office Deputy Blaine Gaskill who uh, made that um, rescue, I would call it, uh, prevented a, 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 what would be a mass a massacre. You know, because uh, right, he took he, the kid out. Yeah, from St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office, uh, he was the one who uh, took out the seventeen-year-old gunman who walked into the Great Mills High School on Tuesday. Uh, use the school. Stop sole using resource that term, officer. gunman. Uh, kid, seventeen-year-old douche canoe. Right, douche canoe. Seventeen, seventeen-year-old asshole. But now, you know, some of this can go back to, and I don't know. I, I haven't really uh, followed the story too much um, because I, I'm one of those that, like, I'm not going to mention the kid's name. I don't think people like that deserve that. Nope. Um, you know, I, I just want, I just want the facts. Like I said, the uh, it was. The father's gun, the kid's father's gun, legally owned it. He probably wasn't safe, but think about it. A kid could figure it out if he, maybe he's seen. You know, dad, dad trusted the kid. Well, right. You That's the problem. The is, is also we have way too much trust with yeah. these kids right. out we, there that are running around. around. The, the, most likely, the kid been to the range with dad. Right. You know? But we're, so. to, we're, to, we're also talking about a generation who believed that they were treated uh, like when growing up. There are certain people who's like, oh, my mom was so fucking tough on me. She made me do all my homework and eat all my vegetables. And so now they're bringing their kids up to be their best buddy. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to eat your – okay, we'll just have chicken nuggets every night of the week. <laughs> they do – they cave to the kids. They don't understand. The kids need structure. Yeah. I was fortunate enough before my, my dad passed. I was talking with him. It was the, the last time I talked to him. I, I, I thanked him for being strict. And he's like, what the hell are you talking about? They're like that. You, you grounded me for almost all of my juvenile life. And he's like, well, you're an idiot sometimes. And I'm like, yes. And I thank you for being honest with me. You you didn't sugarcoat anything. And you told me life was going to be rough. Yeah. And, he, well, and you showed me way. the lessons. We had a brand new typewriter in the damn house. <laughs> Were we allowed to use it? No, we had to use the, the 40-year-old. Actually, it was probably a 30-year-old typewriter that yeah. would the keys yeah, would jam really push, together. Yeah. Yep. And uh, didn't have one of them fancy spin bars. You had to crank it, and and but uh, and it didn't have auto correction. So like yeah, most right. of my typed papers, I had holes in them because I was erasing them with that stupid typewriter eraser. Or, yeah. That didn't. But <laughs> I'm getting off topic here. Uh, well, it's still topic. Yeah. It's, well, if it's, you it's, think about you talk about your upbringing, and that's where the kids, you know, the, the still. I mean, I'm sure there are a million ways a kid could easily got the access to that gun. You know, it's not hard to crack open a fucking safe. I'm going to say Dad just left a gun. Could have left it out. I got to tell you, I grew up with with guns in the house. I knew where they were. My father showed me where they were. And he said, don't touch. You're right. I'll know. And I'm like, they were never locked. They didn't have gun locks back in the 70s. No. But they were, my dad stored the ammunition away. I didn't know where the ammo was. But he stored the guns up in the ceiling rafters of the basement. And he said, don't touch or I'm going to break your ass. And I'm like, okay. Some parents so today teach their kids gun safety, how to use I'm it. I'm fine with that. But Wait, my dad taught me gun safety. Okay. No, I'm going to back off. Of <laughs> Only because I'm saying that they write the gun safety, but they a lot, a lot of times they'll... Let they'll tell their kid what the pass the, the the number is to get into the safe. Or whatever oh, I trust you. And it's not a trust thing. If I have a seventeen year old daughter who might be home alone sometimes, I might want her to have access to the gun. And that's a lot of I can tell you a lot of fathers think that way. They have, you know you want and of course you also got to think. I know the trust part because then you know they're going to tell their friends blah, 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 and then people know they have the gun or in this case like that kid. Got access to the gun. The I same thing that. with Sandy Hook. The guns were definitely not secured properly. Guns need I to be... I forgot where you got them from. Okay. If, if your kid doesn't else. have a permit, yeah. your kid should not be... Because what's, what's going to happen is that gun is going to fall into the hands of the person who's trying to harm them. Right. Kids can't defend themselves. But That's why they're kids. Right. But right now, a kid can still get a permit at 18. 
um, can't buy it until you're 21, right. but you can still buy you can You can have a permit. You can have like a permit, which I don't... This kid could be like fucking two weeks from being 18. What would make the difference? Nothing. No, because the kid would exactly. be... So, when we're talking... Yeah, well, but he's still in high school. I get that, but still, I mean, there are 18-year-olds in high school. I know. And, I, and I, you know, the kid that did the shooting is <sighs> 20. The kid is, you know, you, you stay back a couple of years because you're a fucking dude, mm-hmm. you know. You end up being that old in school. Fucking you know? Old. Yeah. You know? Stupid. But Oh, that's that's so politically incorrect of me to say stupid, but <laughs> what's wrong with you? Yeah, what's, but, wrong, um, what's wrong with you? Yeah, but you know, the people that they're spe- uh, diehard gun advocates, the NRA nuts, and I will say that proudly the NRA nuts, because I think some of them are fucking nuts. Um you know, you and I were very pro Second Amendment. Oh yeah, um, all about guns. But you know, with like you said, you know, responsible ownership, and there's got to be a balance as far as those kids. I'm, I'm sure there are people that know that you know have taught their kids where to find the guns. And you know, again, like I said, if I had a 17 year old daughter, and you know, my daughter will be 17 someday, and my kids will be 16, 17. You know, when you're not home, they're home alone, and they're those teenage years. You know, especially maybe not necessarily here in, in this particular area, but people that live in more urban areas, some of the crimes a little higher. Um, it makes a difference. You know, kids where home invasions are more prevalent. Um, it would, home know. invasions nowadays are everywhere. In the small town that I work in, we've had a couple of them. Yeah. 90% of them are people you know. Oh, they're, they know. Wearing ski masks. Right, they're going in because they know there's something, oh, to yeah. take, whatever it be, drugs, money, they know there's yep. stuff there. So they have that information that the stuff's there. People so, saying, oh, no violent crimes are committed for weed. Are you shitting me? Yeah. I had a friend back in the 90s who had a gun stuffed in his face for a good 40 minutes. They yeah. tied him up because he was a weed a dealer. Of pot, yeah. And they, they stole all of his weed and all of his cash. Yeah. You can't tell me there's no violent crimes involving pot. No. There is. It just is. Yeah. Tiger Lily uh, said uh, she thinks a huge part of this all goes back to early intervention. Uh, the teens and adults going on rampages didn't all of a sudden just happen. We find out that they have be, uh, been under years of pressure and suffering illness. Uh, then you see their family and neighbors saying, oh, he was always such a recluse or was always withdrawn uh why did you wait until now to say something that is a, a, a good point and if you notice that 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 has been going on for generations oh he was always such a quiet guy you ever notice anybody who you know well this guy blew up uh, four buildings today well, he was a very quiet guy uh he did get a little upset when the dog shit on his lawn and <laughs> uh he threatened to blow the dog up but i just thought that he was just you know, but, under some stress. In the meantime, he threatened to blow a dog up before. That's that's kind of important. Many, of the, but many of these kids that go into that, um, where they just um, you know check out, so to speak, is because they they maybe been bullied for a long time. So they finally, dude, I got bullied almost every day right, of my uh, grammar school life. Many of these kids that have done these school shootings were bullied. And that was the problem. You didn't see me go nuts again. That you know, you don't let me finish. Okay. <laughs> again, the problem really being is the bullying. Remember, school administration? You know, they made the big bullying laws, right? Yeah, that's a load of horse shit. It is because people say, "Oh, well, the big." Oh my God! Who the hell? Apparently, cares? you don't. You don't care about the school shootings. Bully. Oh, oh see? Yeah. <laughs> like I twist that shit. You play. You play the wrong oh. shit when I'm talking. Uh, um, no, the bullying laws. Oh my bully- God, who the hell cares? Well, the bullying laws, not only the bullying laws, but the, um, you know, the biggest, the, in my mind, many of these shootings, really the core of the problem goes back to the school administration because they they know they never handle, they don't handle things properly. How many times do you hear something about. Hey, you shit me, half of them are high nowadays. The, the schools don't do shit about anything, they handle everything, quote, in house. Oh, so yeah. many kids should be criminally charged on shit they've done in school, but they handle it in house. A kid that, who, if he was 19 out in the street, would be fucking locked up for half the shit he pulled in school, in school he gets his. Uh, no, I, I got to disagree with that too, because the 19 year old kid, 
oh, well, we don't want to charge him with an adult crime yet. Mm. He's not really an adult. Fuck you. 17 in a day when I was a kid. Yeah. And 17 and, and, and a month, my dad said, don't let the door hit you on the ass on the way out. And then slammed it shut on me, and I moved out on my own. I boomeranged back about 10, uh, no, less than 10 years. It was, uh, you know, about two years later, I boomeranged back. But I got back up on my feet and back out the door I went. Yeah. Unlike the the snowflakes of today, who at thirty two are living in their parents' basements, still whacking off. But to, the problem being is, there's no accountability. You, by school, whether it be right up from elementary school, middle school, high school, college, college administrators, they coddle the kids. I mean, they let them walk out and they join mm-hmm. fucking Occupy Boston for a week, and oh, we'll just reschedule we'll, exams, we'll suspend the exams Bullshit. until they're done protesting. Yeah, you protest, nope. you walk out of class, you flunk for the day, you get an absent, whatever. If I got up and walked out of my job. Exactly. Can you imagine the pile of mess that would pile up behind? I mean, I, I'm, I'm like the, the one guy who cleans everything, okay? <laughs> but if I got up and walked out, they'd fire me. Yeah. And that's that's why I'm talking about the coddling because, you know, oh, well, they're just children. You know what? Okay, yeah, they might be just children. Even in college, they'll argue the same thing. They're just kids. Their brains hold them. That's right. But you know what? In one, two, three years from now, when they graduate and they're in a real job, they pull that shit. They're fired. Is that you? No. Um, they're, you know, they're not, obviously that they're, they're not teaching them anything by coddling the kids, they're not teaching anything. And the kids, um, Jesus Christ, I thought yeah. I'd have to get the gun out there. Yeah. The, um, the, you know, fuck me all, up. all right. So, but the coddling is what I'm talking, you know, bitching about again, high school level instead of, you know, calling, they don't call the cops and they should call the cops. And you know, Byron's getting like a woody over here because we were low on beer and uh, Patty Cakes just walked in the house uh, here into the studio and brought a nice case of beer. Uh, oh, I just dropped that. in the parking lot. Huh? I just dropped this whole thing in the parking lot. Uh-oh. Oh, we're going to have to wait on that. Oh, no, that's right. Um, but like I said, you know, they don't... I, I've seen it myself firsthand. I've seen it in my job. I've seen it firsthand that the... Um, the schools do not hold the kid accountable. The kid literally will show up with other type of weapon, you know, not a gun, but maybe a knife or something like that, and they just don't say anything, you know, or they have made threats to hurt somebody, and they don't hand, they handle it in-house. They don't tell the local police until they think they need to. Well, all right, so they'll call the local police when, when they think... When a kid has... Uh, uh, a pop tart shaped, you know, he, he ate it in, into the shape of a uh, gun. Yeah, call the cops. You got a kid bullying another kid. Don't call the cops. Nope. A but fight. That, that's that, it's, But it's that's why fight. I always say the bullying I, laws. Is, I, I should have a bag or something. It's, not, it's gonna be fine. I she dropped it. it. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, well, she threw it around not a even. lot. You know? Well, she did. It dropped it. Fell once. Boom. Technically. Really? How, how many bumps a driver fucking hit when I shook all the way all to the liquor store? You mean a packy? A packy. Let's, let's say shit right here, okay? <laughs> but, you know, how many times the kids, like you said, you know, they call they call on the stupid stuff. They don't call on the stupid stuff. Um, you know, they, there's no responsibility. They, so they had to force to come out the bullying law. But the bullying law, sorry, already existed. It's called harassment. Already a criminal offense. <laughs> harassment. You do not need a bullying law. There's laws called harassment, which is exactly what bullying is. If you, if someone is constantly harassing you, that's what bullying is. Think about it, right? That's harassing. Yeah. So all you have to do, you have the, the same elements right there of a crime, but they're kids. Let's let it go. You know, you're bullying. Oh, Mark, you keep, you know, you keep, uh, Mark, Mark keeps, uh, you know, shitting on Kevin over in the lot there. So let's, let's send Kevin home and, you know, he'll come back tomorrow and we'll talk to him. Or, you know, we'll give him a, a one day detention or something stupid like that. The kid didn't learn anything. Oh, you know, he's come, the kid didn't come back more pissed off and bully the kid even more because he got fucking booted the other day. Like, All right. Well, so, like, yeah, Bumper and Byron, we, you know, it's like we go back and forth on bullying. And Fuck bump. you. Yeah, we get, so I, I guess it's bad for three days for picking on you. Fuck you. 
Yeah. Oh, fuck, fuck you. you and fuck you. So, I, you know, I get suspended for three. Oh, shit. He's pulling a gun and he's going to go on a rampage. <laughs> Studio three, 5 rampage. Three days, days for, calling you, for calling you short. You know, I, I kept calling you short for three days in a row, so then I get suspended for three days. Studio 5 breaking news. Bumpa goes on a shooting rampage in the studio. Nobody cares. No. Right. Bye. Um, All right. I... I make jokes about things, but it is a ser- it's, it's uh, people call it an epidemic. An epidemic is something that you can't that that occurs naturally. This yeah. does not occur no, naturally. But school shootings, the numbers are are up slightly. We talked about this too, and a lot of people may not hear, may not realize, school shootings have been occurring since the mid eighteen hundreds. This is not something new. It happens every year since like 1840. It has happened every single fucking year. But it's the hot button item to talk about. Yeah, it's just a hot topic. And again, a lot of it, and because everything in the past 10 or 15 years become more prevalent oh, because sorry. of social media. Sorry. Same thing with, uh, you know, officers killed in the line of duty. Yeah, the number's up a little bit, but overall, the same amount of cops were killed 20 years ago. Or, or close to it. You know, the, there's still 100 cops killed 20, 30 years ago. You didn't hear about it. You know, you might heard like maybe all oh, three, you know, in the course of a year, three cops getting shot. You didn't, you didn't hear about most of them. Thanks to social media, you hear about all of them. It's big fucking news, everything popping up. Not only social media, but the like you said before, the Internet. Because now all those news media outlets can cover every story opposed to just what they can in 30, 60 minutes. All right, so, I mean, this brings me back to what we were talking about, last, the beginning of what we were talking about before the show, just, I mean, you, the, the, we started talking, we started drinking, and then all of a sudden the, the show just went into the crapper there. Yeah. Does social media need to be dismantled, or is there a filter that needs to be put, put on there that... that uh, I mean, there already is a filter put in place, it, but it's not a good one. If you complain to Facebook about something, uh, they delete the post and they suspend you from posting for a few days. Right. Yeah, that no one, no human being yep. looks into the complaints. And well, right, that, and that's the only thing that should happen on sites like that is the, the sites need their own to improve their own social Watchdog. responsibility, right? They need their own social responsibility as far as, as that stuff. Um, but as far as like an overall filter, no, because then you're pushing censorship. You know, you, you, then you're pushing people that you just literally say you can't share the, the news because well, yeah, well, it's not news. If it's news, it's news. Because, but you, you but know, who determines what is news? Well, right, exactly. But why, who, who are you to say, you know, if that's not news? How come you get to say it? You know, I mean, maybe uh, me and me, well, uh, me if and it Big didn't Dog actually say that, happen. Me and Big Dog think you, you and your great burritos. That's news. You don't think it's news? I don't think that's news, right? So because I didn't throw up. If I threw up, that'd be news, right? But I mean, it'd that, be like you know. That's what I'm saying. Is the um, Byron throws up after the great Chicago trip of 2017? <laughs> but you know, <laughs> but, but that's the thing is, you know, is. Oh, sorry. You know, it's uh, it's some a big house fire where maybe somebody dies. You know, <laughs> somebody might not think. <laughs> look, well, look. That, yeah, that was news, right? <laughs> that was news. Um, you know, somebody dies. Some people might think it's news. Some people might not because some people simply say, "Well, that happens every day." That's life, right? That's life, and that's where who's to say that that filter should be there? You know what I mean? That's where I am. Right. Uh, I'll be the filter. You'll be the... Um, I'll be the, 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 the news editor. Yours, can you, right? can you, you know imagine me, how stressed I would be after the end of a day? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just read for like 11 snowflake You'd, you'd be like, uh, what's his name in fucking Marvel? Uh, not uh, Marvel, uh, DC. Um, oh, who's the, uh, the paper editor there in like Spider-Man and shit? Oh, that's Marvel. Uh, J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah. Look at Jameson. Parker! Get out of my office, you fucking son of a bitch. Right? Oh, you would be fucking... All yeah, over. I'd be angry all the time. Uh, uh, I, so we, we are dealing with, uh, oh, God, she's got notes. Lots of notes. Look at Not that. Not this. No, my notes are here. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, you I are. made it. Oh, we're not up. There we we'll go. Up. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll yeah. open your microphone now. Thank you. Hello. Oh, look at the head. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, it does. It does? Okay. Yeah. I might be sick. Yes, I think you are. I'm wicked sick. Yeah. I'm wicked. <laughs> I'm going to go get myself a mask. I bought um emergency. Oh, well, thank God for that. <laughs> Ooh, I know. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Better late than never. So uh, we haven't had uh, too many computer issues. Nice no. with the new computer. It's, it's working. Yeah. I, and I, look, he's got his own little soundboard there. Oh, you pretty uh, fancy over there, Bumper. Hey, you know, well, we got that other laptop for you. You know, we fire that up. But, Next time we'll have to do that. And you can get your little notes prepared and typed up there and... Like you know, I know you get a whole little file. I write when I drive. Filing system. Yep, I write when I drive, so. I'm yeah. ready. I'm not ready now, but. Uh, big no, Dog says hello. What's up, Big Dog? <laughs> My headphones sound like crap. Uh, let's Can you see. adjust me, please? Which one? Oh, which one you are? Uh, so, yeah, I was I a hot mess. I was carrying in. Thank you very much. Is that better? Yeah, right. I was carrying in the beer. Let's got fuck the beer. with her all night long. <laughs> uh, my my voice sounds weird. Remember, Do you think my voice sounds weird? I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to unlock the gun cabinet now. <laughs> oh, thanks. Make it easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. Huh. Um, but, you know, we were talking about schools and not being responsible as far as handling uh, bully issues and So, in like the that. end, the parents... Are the ones responsible. They are. And we have a lot more hot-headed parents out there like, fuck that school. That school doesn't know jack shit. Yeah, but that happens about- during sporting events also. I oh, saw God. that, oh my God, right. during a football game yeah. with my little son. A kid, his dad, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to was sorry. So um, it was the end of the game. We lost by like a touchdown. And you go and shake everyone's hand. The dad, during during the, the team's shaking hands, the dad runs from the back of the field all the way down to the field and says, you didn't get my son 10 plays, blah, 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 blah. And throws a coffee on the coach, and the coach is, like, completely calm. Banned for life. Oh, the kid was embarrassed. That was, like, ninth grade, tenth grade. Yeah, that, but that's been going on Sorry. since the... I'm uh, taking my socks off, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. I guess you What's are. What's that smell? It's, it's right. Oh, <laughs> well, I just got in from work and from studying. Who oh, daddy? That sure does smell like a... Smell like cat poop? <laughs> a mold, <laughs> it smells like a moldy goat. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, you. Whoops. Hey, um, but, uh, you know, there's a disconnect. You say, you're right, it is up to the parents, but there's also a huge dis- communication disconnect between the school and the parents because what the kid's doing at school doesn't, you know, doesn't, there, there has to be a communication. There's a lot of non communication between the school and the parents. So, you know, if the parents don't know that the kid is, you know, being bullied at school if the school doesn't communicate it. Go ahead. You can't control yourself. Oh, my God. No, I'm just sitting here. We've got, we got half a dozen computers out, and and then you hear her getting ready. Hey, I'm old school, baby. She's just 20th century. Hey, at least I, I'm well, taking notes, carry. and I'm trying. I even yeah, put the thing on she Facebook. Can't, she can't carry a laptop at work. You know? No, but she carries a phone at work. You just... True, but I listen to Spotify all day. I, I killed my phone. I didn't even get phone calls for like an hour. I didn't talk to anybody because I killed it. I mean, I'm in the middle of a song. I'm rocking out and Target. Boo, and it goes, just dead. Just dead. Oh my God. Well, that sucks. Got to get yourself an Android phone, one that runs 36 hours. No, you know what it is? It's that I got to charge up my other doodah. <laughs> oh my. My, my portable doodah. Mm-mm. Oh my. <laughs> well, my good doodah has batteries. He's all set. <laughs> well, 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 we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Oh, oh, drink time. Now that Patty's in the house here. Yay. Yeah. Oh, did you miss me? No, not really. <laughs> well, we had we had some serious discussions there that uh, that we could, probably could have. Uh, Huber's in the house, uh, and Huber says that you need a legal pad. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I, <laughs> shut up over there. No, I'm good. I'm good. Look, I got a blank. Look, I got enough. Oh, okay. I will use your blank. Okay, but so this is when I'm driving. I said, "Oh, I got Oh thoughts. my <laughs> god! I drive <laughs> I, I, right when I drive. Yeah, I'm I, I don't. Hi, Hubie. Hi, Tiger Lily. I like dog. Everybody. Shocked view on a dashboard. And she, right. <laughs> 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 it's a stripper mobile. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, right. Everybody gives me shit about oh, yeah, my sleepies. I don't have crash sound effects. So. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, you should tell the story about your uh, taking the golf cart to work and what the people said. I started the thing up. It was like, get, 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 right, now, and I get to work. It's not a golf cart. It's a 2011 Ford Escape. It's a, it's actually mm. worse than a golf cart. Shut I would up. much rather a golf cart. I mean, this thing had the tiniest stereo. I'm like, tss, tss, tss. That, that was the bass. Because he blasted that shit really? out of the shore. Really? It was a little bit. But I get it to work. I pull it into it. I back it into the space. And <laughs> <laughs> they, he has totally put my car on blast. For no reason, it's not that bad. And uh, so I get into work, and it was like, who's the stripper's car you got tonight? I'm like, shut up. <laughs> because um, I have um, beads, oh, all sorts flowers. all of shit hanging from the... Rear view mirror. That, and, and you can barely see through the windshield. I mean, <laughs> Why, because of my Snoopies? No. Well, I mean, that's... Yeah, that's... I have two Snoopies and a GPS. But I tried to turn on the windshield wipers. <gasps> oh, I need help later. Uh-oh. Or tomorrow morning, someone's got to help me. Clean so off your car? No, that would be nice, a gentleman. But anyway, um, no. So I pulled the windshield wipers up. <laughs> to so you're supposed to pull them up, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I no. I well, don't. on my okay. So I did. I did on the passenger side. The whole thing fell apart. I was like, oh shit. <coughs> so that was gonna leave it on the hood, and I go, well, that's not really smart because it's gonna Should smell. Should be down the street like this. It'll the probably scratch wiper. the hell out of my windshield. Yeah, it will. So I threw the the, the blade part into my car. So maybe if someone could assist me. Mm. If we're not too hammered when the show's over. That sounds like a bumper thing. He's out there thinking, <laughs> scratching his head. It's actually <laughs> super easy. The reason why I didn't do it was because I literally have a brand new Ninja blender I just bought tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I got a deal. Oh, I got a deal and I got bitched out about it. Uh, oh, really? Nice. I one-upped him. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Yeah. Oh, I only spent $40 on mine and I bought a scale. I'm like, well... Mine was $100, and it had a tag on it saying 53 and it was a mistake. So, of course, I'm going to buy the one that was $100 with a mistake price, right? Oh, yeah. mistake prices are the best. Yeah. I, I just got great... $46 off of it. We should do a show on mistake prices. For sure. Oh, boy. Wumpa hated mistake prices when he worked in the, uh, in the retail industry. I do that every Saturday when I go see Zach at Shaw's. They miss um, sign the stuff like 79 cents must buy 10. So I'm going around, and I'm like, that salad dressing's $2.99. Oh, by the way, in case nobody knows, patty cakes is a food order. Oh, my God. Every single day, I bring. I brought bacon in tonight. If, if, <laughs> if anybody, but Byron's loving this shit. He, he might be making fun of it, but he's loving it. If anybody knows anyone who has an extra, extra large freezer that they can loan me for a while. All we need, yeah, all, all we need is, um, oh, what do you call it? An extension cord that we can use. We <laughs> put a little. We don't need an extra. Put a little frilly to... thing and call it a uh, uh, what a buffet. I think we're in the <laughs> kitchen. Honestly, we're going to need an electrician to come in and add a few yeah. more outlets. Oh yeah, no, and and up the amperage because she <laughs> keeps on blowing the, the breakers with the. I do uh, not use the microwave now. Yeah, I refuse to use the microwave. Oh, he used it tonight. It went boom, and it, it did. The wind, the lights did go. Boom. So what is it? I use it every time without a problem though. Yeah, uh, he lies. It's not me. It's never popped. I've used it. It's almost popped. It's popped. Almost twice. doesn't mean anything. Almost is yes. Oh, he the, in in this case, it's, it's like, kind of like a, you know, I, I almost ran out of gas, but did I know? Right? <laughs> what? The, okay. Wait, same thing. You've got to tell almost, me really? in your life. Like I almost took a shit, but I didn't. I mean, what's it, the difference? No, there is what? never a time when you've almost taken a shit and didn't. Okay, you no, always take a shit. Hey, no, what? Hey. Uh, oh, hey. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sit oh, and talk hey. to my boy Huber. Hey, you. What's up? <laughs> Oh, shit. All right, so let's get back to... Talking uh, about shit, yeah, oh, shit. Sorry. Free shit. That's what we should talk about. <laughs> we, you know, we hit that. Free, free shit. shit. Yeah. We could talk about guns all day long and the, the kids are fucked up. We well, know if the it's kids free, are it's up for me. Schools, but That's my saying. The free, you know, we'll go up to the snowflake level now where... Oh, you mean that kind of free yeah, shit? Yeah. Like, well, I want free, free college. college. And the, uh, let the homeless people live in a fucking shed in the middle of the street. You know, that type of shit. Yeah. <coughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, and our you know our good friend Captain Spanks a lot. Sir Spanks a lot, the Colonel of Corporal Punishment. I love how it goes. I got to um, come up with something other than this, you know, like maybe. Uh, 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 I got I got to come up with something that, have, that just says. I can't do no, that. No, 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 no,
It's not like someone banging a chicken or something. (laughs) (laughs) If you're banging a chicken, you need to go to jail. (laughs) Wouldn't the hole be too small? (laughs) (laughs) I got a whole new mind uh, word to the word pecker. (laughs) But uh, what was that... I'm that's still finding the buttons. The Cal- it was California, right? <laughs> that's okay. Uh, it's a in California, curve. In California, there's, uh, they've, they've had these areas that they've set up, um, little sheds, basically. That Oh, the guy, they, this guy in California built a bunch of uh, one-room sheds. Right. Set them up on a freeway overpass on a fucking sidewalk. Well, yeah, that's great forethought thinking <laughs> there. You know? Fucking they drunk have, plow right They have it. solar panels on the roof, and they power little lights inside. Yeah. The idea and the thought is a good one. Yeah. The problem the location, is, though. The problem is these are shoot-up shacks now. Yeah. They're just going in there and shooting up. The drug, yeah. the drug addicts are going to come in and, and fucking kill the poor homeless people for their good shit and take those over and they'll become shooter houses. Yeah. And that's a big thing that a lot of people can't filter through. They don't see that. They don't see that. I, the homeless people. I live in a fluffy, happy world. Yeah. Everybody is good. And, oh, and there are no people. people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the homeless people are going to get killed for their, for their quote unquote shack in the, in the woods. The problem though is a good. Uh, you know, obviously, clearly not all the homeless people are drug addicts, alcoholics, but no. a good percentage are. Oh, well, yeah, strong percentage are. They are, and there's you know usually a reason that they are homeless. I mean, think about it. If if you were hit like complete like rock bottom, you would still yeah you know like I would work. You mean at, like me? Or me? Like I work at McDonald's and still rent a room somewhere. You know what I mean? You well, can you know. Hey, you know, the 7-Eleven. I went for whatever. Oreos and I went to the room somewhere. Hey, uh, what the hell is that? I'm all... <laughs> but, I mean, that's what I mean. It, you know, to end up <sighs> literally homeless out in the street somewhere, most, not all, I, know, I get that. And before, you know, corporal is, the corporal... The Sir Colonel, Spanks, the Colonel, Colonal of Corporal, corporal Punishment. punishment yeah. Yeah. Uh, before he lashes out, yeah, I get it. Yes, some people are simply just, you know, oh. good people are homeless. I get that, I, you know. But there are the, the a large group of them that are, are junkies. They mm-hmm. are alcoholics, and mm-hmm. those are the people that I've seen it firsthand in my own personal experience working at uh, fifteen years at in urban hospitals that. These people make that choice. Little do you know that Bumpo here was chief bed cl- bedpan cleaner oh, for uh, Boston General back in the day. Six, sick fuck. He had to use putty knife sometimes. Let me tell you, one of the most hilarious things I ever saw was this drunk guy came out of Store 24 across oh, the street from the hospital, right? Oh, right? <laughs> well, this drunk guy comes out of Store 24 <laughs> across funny. the street from the hospital. Steps out in the traffic. It's like right out of Bowfinger. You know, the movie, like, he crosses the highway. Yeah. Doesn't even look. Just walks right out. He's got a bag of Cheetos in one hand. The Jacks. He's, oh, yeah. Get him shrimp ones. He's eating them. Red right? fingers. He's, fingers. He's eating them as he's crossing the street. Yeah. <laughs> People are slamming brakes. It's Boston. It's traffic. Right? And, and it's... I gotta tell you, if I had a snowplow, I, I wouldn't have hit my brakes. It's two lanes each side, so four lanes of traffic coming, and he just cuts right out, <laughs> doesn't even look, right? Like, cabbie slams his brakes, and he, he's got hang out the window, you fucking asshole! And he goes, like, Mr. Bean, hi! <laughs> you know, and it just keeps going. And it was like, it was fucking classic. It was like three of us standing across the street watching it, and he just, you just hear, oh, Cars breaking and people swearing, beep beep, and he's just doing the Mr. Bean. I like your, si- your sound effects, beep beep, <laughs> <laughs> beep beep. Uh, <laughs> that go. was pretty good. That was good. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> but and then he's just doing Mr. Bean. Uh, I'm busy. Uh, uh, kill her. No, what? But you know, it is it, it is sad, and I, you know, I, I get that, but. Those are people that choose to be homeless, and there are, I even met a guy. You are, that's, that was going to be my point. There are people who choose yep. to be homeless now, be it because of mental illness or just sick of society. Yep. There are people who choose to be homeless, and some of them, honestly, some of them do burn through their own family. You know, welcome. Mm. You know, I they, had a chick that burned through fucking everybody. Yeah. And I didn't well, have her. I, I dealt with her. And uh, she thought the whole world owed her. No, the, yeah. The, the, we, uh, Give uh, me a ride. 
you got feet, walk. My my family had this guy, it was a family friend, looked at like as an uncle. For the most part, great guy, alcoholic. That's the problem. Oh, alcoholic, yeah. big time alcoholic. Well, we all are, aren't we? Oh, no, no, he is, like 24-7. But nice guy at heart, but he, you know, he pissed, literally pissed for everybody because he would piss the couch. He pissed uh. on people's couches, you know. So how many times, oh. if I came here... And every time I passed out on your couch, I pissed it. Oh, how many times? Right. How many times? How many times are you gonna let me stay? Yeah. yeah that's what you gotta you be buying a time. rubber sheet. Right. And put him on blast. I'd wrap him up in the rubber sheet. Yeah. No, you, with you, the bungee cord. He'd be like, with um, fucking bungee cord. I'm like, uh, he'll be. He'd be like, uh, maybe you could sleep in the tub. Yeah. And then he could just turn the shower on before you get out. Uh oh. Yeah. We got a moron here. <laughs> <laughs> but he would get so annihilated every single night. Seven days a week, he would just piss and sometimes shit himself. Hmm. So, Ugh. yeah, he, you know, that, uh, so nobody in the family would take him. You know, he, I don't know where he is now. I think he's dead. I don't know. Aww. Well, nobody's seen him for a while, but <laughs> it happens, you know. Well, uh, that's... but that, but those, that's one of those type of people. Um, you know, another homeless guy I saw one time. Uh, he is a disabled vet, um, mm-hmm. and he'd been, you know, he'd, he'd been retired from. He retired from, you know, traveler, you know, on disabled disabled vet. But he did do twenty something years or whatever, um, and he would get a monthly check. It was, it, well, they run right out and spend it on booze, like thirty five hundred bucks yeah. though. And exactly, he, dude, you know, I could drink thirty five hundred dollars worth of booze if he, I if I didn't month, have overhead. Right, I'd be. Exactly. That's yeah. like the best Mai Tais in Long Island iced teas. Oh yeah. Well, no, he's drinking Mad Dog twenty twenty and many of them. Like we we talked about before, that that is a quote disability. Remember alcohol and, and drug addiction. I told you about the disabled guy I met at the bar. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. asked him if you don't mind me asking, what is your disability? He goes, I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. And I look over the bar owner, and the bar owner's like. <clears throat> pays my bills <laughs> and I'm like yeah, oh yeah. great okay whatever but you know and those people they get a disability check they get That's money fucked up that is fucked right. up they get a disability check and they get money and you know some will just continue to spend it on alcohol or drugs where they should be you know and even the homeless ones they're getting they're still getting a check but they should be spending the money on a room a lot more homeless people overhead. out there who have an iPhone and a massive drug problem yep well they give them a phone, like a EBT gives them a flip phone. Yeah, I, that was why you heard about that. There was a because uh, they have to get in touch with you. So okay. back, it goes back to that social media thing. Uh, I watched this woman who got. Uh, 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 Am I drinking yours? Like I'm some sorry. some That's kind okay. of. <laughs> So okay. I'll, I'll take that one. That's all right. There you go. It's all right. Sorry. That's good. Here you go. Here's your opa. I'm like, that's good. <laughs> Here's an opa. Drink my beer. Yeah, I haven't got one anymore. I'm, I'm poor. All I'll right, so there's the, this woman uh, got on EBT, yeah. and she went out and bought lobster, cooked it up, and fed it to her dog. And oh. she goes, after a little while, you get this. And she holds up this smartphone. She goes, free minutes, free internet. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, I don't even want to get started on the subject because I'm so freaking pissed off right now. Because, like, because if you're on stuff like that, you're also on mass health, right? Mm, oh. I need I need inhalers. I have to have an inhaler for As morning you can and tell night. By her voice. Well, I'm sick. Oh, yeah, see? oh, actually, don't I sound kind of sexy? <laughs> mm. No. Oh, no. Boy. Oh, boy. Anyway, um, um. I go try to go get my inhaler, and it's $1,400. <laughs> Jesus you know? Christ. And the guy goes, well, if you're on Mass Health, you get this for free. And then I get an official well, go letter. Go on Mass Health. Oh, I have, I have Mondo- Mondolis. I have Mondolis. That's part of the, uh, the emergency that we had just <laughs> before we went on the Oh, air. yeah, my, something happened, right? My microphone stand fell down. Did it really? Yeah, it was awful. Bumpa laughed at me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Talk a squeaky voice in there a little bit, you know. <laughs> I like it a lot. I can't even do it because I got pepperoni oh. in my mouth. <laughs> is that what that is? In your mouth? <laughs> I have pepperoni. <laughs> in your mouth? In my mouth. Oh, boy. Um... Jesus, you I'm sure you got right for your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but like you know, the, the homeless people, as uh, Hubert here says, he's, he's seen homeless people you know beat up and destroy somebody for a sandwich. That is very true, and you know, like that's why I complain it because I know these guys 
have money. They may not have money at that time, but they get money every month. No, they rip through it. In they the rip first. through it. And yeah, they have uh, rascals of alcohol. At one point, when I was working in Boston, there was a uh, they called it the Stomper. Uh, it was basically a homeless guy beating up other homeless guys for their money or alcohol, or whatever like that. And uh, we had so, there was an incident incident that we saw that had a not a, not enough to pinpoint it was this particular guy, but we had an idea who it was. And sure enough, like about a week later, he got busted for it. Too. But it was a homeless guy beating up other homeless guys. I mean, like brutally, you know, kicking them with stomp. They, that's why they call them stomper. C- caving their heads in the rib cages and that's shit like awful. that. And you know, they, they would be out sleeping or whatever, and he'd be trying to pickpocket them. They wake up and just kick the shit out of them. But he was a homeless guy ripping other homeless people off, and beating them up for it. Every level of society has that now. There are, there are criminals out there who are a little bit more elegant than just the stomper, yeah. but they're going to do the same thing. That's their job, to rob you. Right. That's why we have locks. That's why we have security buildings. We have cameras, because everybody is going to rip everybody off. That's, I hate to say it, but thank you very much. I hate to say it, but I don't hate to say it, thank you very much, but thank you. I hate to say that we live in a culture where today the criminal is glorified. Yeah, they're glorified in songs, raps, drug dealing is something someone aspires to now, well, and of course they blame it on the almighty white man. Yeah, what you got your white privilege? No, I don't have any privilege, no. dude. I'm eating pepperoni that's been in the fridge a month. Pretty sad. I had to do that. Pretty sad. So good. Crack. All right, I bought that from my house. <laughs> my old. Oh, house. God knows how long it's been around. Then I go through pepperoni like qu- quicker than you do. Oh, I love pepperoni. Pretty quick. Uh, Sorry, I got pepperoni. <laughs> I make my own pepperoni pizza. But seriously, we, we live in a culture where where crime now crime is being glorified. Yeah, it's not even being oh, it's not in the dark corner that nobody talks about. Back when I was a kid, <coughs> you didn't talk about crimes. It it happened on the nightly news. Yeah. You heard someone got robbed. Oh, that's terrible. Now they're rapping about that shit. Yeah, but again, it all comes back to the internet and social media. That's why we're all finding out about it. Do the breaks need to be put on social media? And oh. you say no because of censorship. Yep. That's exactly what happened. What about that uh, that video I shared to the page? of the, I call her a mermaid chick. She's special ed. Oh, we can play that. Oh, my God. And now, now I'm that, a special ed, bitch. Right? I'm not account money, though, nigga. <laughs> that's all she's saying, right? Oh, yeah. Well, and most of, of what social media is today is people looking for validation from a stranger. Yeah. Hashtag, you just, you just summed me up for the last three years. For sure. I'll admit it. <laughs> uh, okay. You know I did. I was horrible. It Why is. do you think I was counting my numbers on Periscope all the time? And I... I wanted validation. I, I enjoy that people listen to us. I enjoy that people... Agree or disagree with us. Right. I love to have conversations that are are pro and con. Yeah. I'm fine with that, but I'm not going to go out and seek anyone's approval. I used but to do that. But if you're lacking something in your life, if you're missing out something, you know you're not getting any attention, but or as, in your head you're not getting any attention. But as a kid, I I sought out attention like you read about. I tried to be anything anybody wanted to be, be to be. I was the butt of all the jokes. I was, and I still am the butt of all the jokes because I make myself that because I am an ass for the most part. And yeah, I mean, see, I was an introvert. I was very shy. I wouldn't talk to anyone. Everyone thought I was horrible. You know, we have the rabid conservative Mm bumper. We've got the social media Maven. Maven. Mm -hmm. We'll call you that. Okay. Okay. And then you got the asshole of the group. And there you go. Thank you very much. I need to have an echo on that. <laughs> but I don't seek out anyone's uh, uh, approval anymore. I've, I think I got my approval that I needed. That was stri- That was des- in desire of. Is that the way you say it? Is that, should I say it like that? Yeah. I was looking, and Yay! and I took it. I took it very far. I think we all know that. Mm-hmm. To the point where I'm on my fifth Periscope account and uh, two <laughs> Twitters and two Facebooks, you know. 
and uh, <laughs> it, it caught you know social media also causes a lot of turmoil if you if you let it overcome you you know if you let it it's an addiction you. it is it, oh my god yes because i've had but it. it's not I, an epidemic because it can be prevented yeah turn off the damn I mean, yes well, it's, it's self-control like and that we're going to segue what we got saying right into patty's video she's talking about because this idiot is a perfect example uh-huh and listen, let's listen to the video here. It's, uh, let's go to the video. The hip hop, rap, <laughs> hip hop rapping special ed mermaid. Oh, that's what I named it. <laughs> yeah, but oops, and you can't hear it. Yeah. Sounds oh, good. damn it. Okay. Well, go ahead, continue talking. I'll, I'll fix that. Right. Yo, I'm a hip hop mermaid. Because she looks like media. a mermaid because she's in like turquoise. I did see that. Did you, you want me it? to do that? I can play that. I'm sorry if you hear me licking my fingers. I'm eating chocolate. <laughs> well, right now, Huber's all turned on about that. Oh. Uh, mm. uh, <laughs> and turned on about that as well. Mm. I dropped a piece, though. Oh, shit. I gotta find it. Oh, shit. There it is. There it is. But no, I can see, like, okay, so you said that. Is, did someone say that social media is an epidemic? Is that something someone said? Is that something you're saying? That's something I'm kind of going with because it is a, it is Why would you say? a, a little dangerous. Oh, Thank you. Kiss me one, one more time. All right, ready? Here song. we go. I got it. Yeah. Right. Pussy bitch, probably one that kisses sixth grade. I was in special ed. I was slow as hell. No game of game. Cause now I like, get that breath. Get his bitches hell. I enjoy the uh, airsoft gun she's yeah, holding. Yeah. And someone else's parents' kitchen. Everything I brush my motherfucking teeth with gangsta shit. You can see her nipple brushing? right through that shit. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's a fishnet. Like, it's a pokey. <laughs> I found, she's a, so I ignorant. found a Pokemon in that one. But she's extremely ignorant. It's it's like okay, so she's she comes to Worcester's Got Talent. What score are we giving her? One to ten. A three. One. <laughs> one, I don't know. I, okay, I get, she gets at least a three. I her nipples her, popping out of the shirt. I, I give it. I, I give it a three or four for for creativity. You know. But I like got, special it, bitch. <laughs> pencil, pencil erasers underneath that shirt. Yeah, you <laughs> find hey. that. That's on, that's on our Facebook page. You'll find that video and, and just watch that's it. Good. <laughs> it's fucking hysterical. Uh, um, but again, you know that, that touches base with the social media. Is that somebody who's you know? You, she said, "Is she trying to uh, show showcase talent, or just trying to get attention? Get attention? They get attention? I think in her mind, she probably thinks she's talented." Yeah, but it's just it, you know, it's a cry she's out for there attention. Like, Look at me, because she had a hair. Really going going out, yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you think about it, we had video cameras pop up in the eighties. Yeah, the big ass ones you put on your shoulders, gigantic shirt, right? ones mm-hmm. that you carried around. We carried them around when we were kids, and we shot everything we could, mm-hmm. and did our own little c- cable access shows. We mm-hmm. had a lot of fun with it. Everybody wants to be a star for 15 minutes of their mm-hmm. life. But mm-hmm. some people are trying to drag it out, like the Kardashians. <laughs> so, not, not to well, they were given the platform and the hype. You no, know? They, they took it themselves. Yeah, but think but about then they it. act like idiots to even, you know. Well, they are. The network went to them, though. They, they didn't, like, you know. Was that Nick, that was Nick Cannon or Ryan Seacrest, one of those two? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, somebody went to them, and yeah, as nice, stupid as it is. You Let's know. make a Wicked Pisser show. Right? We should do a weekly. Well, follow I, us on I'm a social media sycophant. I need to be validated and uh, give me my money. Right. I, I need my, my, my 40 ounces here. I, you- I'm such a... I'm, I'm a victim of... Not, I can't say victim. I jumped you played, head first. You into played it. into it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my God, yeah. But notice that you weren't completely addicted because we got you off of... Uh, a main I, what, I was completely addicted. I really was. Oh, yeah. I, because... But there's, I, there's also other within the things last that, that... Again, it's, 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 you, as you said, it's someone searching for some validation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I saw it. If you're not feeling... If, yeah, if you're, no, if you're feeling ugly and <laughs> old and this and that, whatever. What are you saying? No, go ahead. Keep on going with that one. Keep on speaking. 
Oh, I was just saying. She, she used to lie. If you don't feel, if you don't get the attention you deserve in one way or the other, you go searching for it, and then you find it, and you're complete, right. and you're happy. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. I don't know. I had to go. You caught me off guard. I had to go with something. <laughs> uh, maybe we should go into. Okay. Oh, sure. Do that right now. Why well, you gotta pee? No, I gotta. Up? I gotta go get. Right. He has head. Ha- he doesn't oh, have a hard hat. Right, 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 no, right, no. Right, gather, right. gather the questions. Gather the all questions, right, right. and I will be right, be right back. back. I'm going to look for that piece of chocolate I dropped. I got to blow, yeah. blow my nose. I'm getting yeah, tired any, of sniffing, you know? Anyone has a Dia Byron question, send it to us now. Uh, uh, you, bro, I'm see, sure you can figure out something real quick that you'd want to ask and put them on the spot. That's always fun. I so, have one. I have one, but it's gross. That's good. That's fine. No. That'll work. Um, it's courtesy of Tiger Lily um, from my Facebook page. Oh. And I lost that piece of chocolate. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't want the mice to get it. No oh, boy. <laughs> We like to feed the mice around here. And the kitties. <laughs> and the kitty. Uh, Thank you. Oh, we got to get a kitty. Little, little kitty. Hello. We'll take a kitty. I almost brought us home a kitty today. Yeah. Yes. I don't control the mice. Oh, uh, she's cute though. She has, um, she's probably double, not. She's, she's double pod. She's walk, walk, walk she, across. She's double pod. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, oh, oh dear! <laughs> I think you know. What, I think you might know which one. I don't know if you want me to say it. Oh, I, really, it's, I have a backup. How's that? We'll use it as a backup. Mm. <laughs> My, she's backing up. Oh, huh. Back beep, that ass up. Beep, mm-hmm. beep. Mm-hmm. I know. I'm going through my notes here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sound like me going through notes. <laughs> you ever had one of these? No, but I want one. Thank you. Is it good with uh, chocolate? No. Uh, dear Byron. Oh, those are good. Yeah. Dear Byron, mm-hmm. sometimes I use a bidet, and it just seems to laser shoot into my anus. <laughs> Is there a way you, I could control that better? Signed yours. <laughs> Pump <Bathroom> buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... Those are good, but is it like sour cream? No, just salt. Sea salt. Yeah. Yep. It's because I have Hoppables by Lay's. Ooh, Lay's. Tonight's show is brought to you happily by. Shock Top? Us. <laughs> Lay's. Boobs. Brought to you by. Boobs. Boobs. Five Graphics. Boobs. Check them out on boobs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whore. Shameless self promotion. That's right. All right, so. <laughs> the use of the bidet. Yes. Is it great? Oh, I have to buy another one. You know... Why? It's cracking. It's cracking? Mm-hmm. Is it from all of the use? That's all the use oh, of no. someone sitting on that. You know damn. what? No, because I actually, I know what you're talking about now. That, where it's cracked... Yeah. There's one of the, the feet from the seat mm-hmm. or whatever is right on it. Yep. I want to get away. You can just pop that off. And, uh. No. Because <laughs> then we'll decimate the rest of it. It's just... <laughs> oh, about my God. Feet? He fell into the toilet. What the? Huh. So when you use it, you turn it us. on gently. <laughs> I haven't used it yet. You don't turn it on full force. I mean, this guy is is used to like turning on the knob. Remember the good old days when you turn the knob of a TV on? Yes. Yeah. And that noise because it would get in your ears. Okay. And then, uh, but Bumper here, all you hear is I'm in the kitchen. Fixing my shit, so you make this noise. Okay. I'm getting bread out of the thing. I'm I'm buttering it, and I was in here. <laughs> oh, Bubba just used the uh, used the uh, ass washer. That's all moves I use all the time now, and I know how to you use do? it right. Yep. You love it though, don't you? Then tell me, I haven't uh-huh. used it once. I I learned now. You turn it on slowly, um, and then you know, obviously you turn it. You turn it right down. You got to adjust it. If you have some Klingons, you got to really <laughs> kind of blast no, it. No, I don't have any hair down there for Klingons. <laughs> Dudes do, don't. No, but guys do, right? Guys don't yeah. shave their assholes. <clears throat> Let's not talk about that. Oh, oh hey, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Then you might uh, be getting visitors there? Yeah. No, you just yeah. don't. I mean, you don't want 
But you know what, Dingleberry? Cling on. So the worst part, though, the worst part yeah. is it's cold water. And at first it's not Where's too... the cold water come from? Your ass goes numb. Don't worry. The, yeah, at first it's not too bad because, you know, it's the first, like, 30 feet of pipe are in the building, so it's somewhat warm. It's not ice cold. Yeah, but by then your but ass then, goes numb. Then you're right. Then your ass gets numb because of the uh, ice cold uh, water. Dude, I'll sit there for a half hour. <sighs> Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, that's great. It gets he, so numb, he, it's like burning. I'm like, oh, what the he hell? Oh, no. You sit there for half an hour oh, with the yeah. water. Hey, Cold I got a shave. Right, yeah. I got my TV. Make it nice in there. and numb. He, he's like going for What's he he's ready going for? Like an enema. He's taking What's an enema with that. What's he getting ready for? Wow, wow. He's, getting, he's getting all cleaned up ready. Oh. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> Like Maybe I should do that before. <laughs> 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 What's that weird noise? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so can I offer a question? I don't know if it's a... <laughs> Bear with me. So I put up a post earlier today on Facebook. And I said... Oh, oh, okay. So I'm pretty sure we are doing a Wicked Pizza show tonight, but I'm not showing up till the second half of the show. Someone give me a dirty topic they think I should oh, discuss. Oh, I read some of that, yes. yes okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so... So, I got some comments and stuff. Um, one was, if men bleed, would tampons be free? Oh, my. Or if men bled, sorry. If men bled, would tampons be free? Pussy! With men and women bleeding? I mean, if you think about it, both if both hey, of us, they'd be cheaper. Yeah, I'm sure. Why is that? Because we it would mad. double the demand. Because, yeah, you're not having the. Uh, hey, you think about it. The tra- oh well, we got to leave. We we can't leave the transgenders and non binaries out of this one. All oh, right. So you know, <sighs> where would men bleed from? The pee hole. Uh, oh. I'm curious. I just passed a stone recently, and I hurt. You did? Yeah. Uh, it's not when a did you, thing. When did you do that? Today. You did? That's what that scream was. Oh. They say that's like a, that's supposedly equivalent to childbirth. Uh, okay, listen, if you're passing stones, we got to talk about your diet there, kiddo. Yep. That happens once every... I'm putting you on a diet. That's it. Years. That's yeah. it. You're on a diet. Oh. Okay. I, I, bought, I bought a Nutribullet. I'm putting you, I'm putting you on That's smoothies fine. for breakfast. All right. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> if I, if I ever see you on, in That's breakfast time, you're getting a smoothie. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, she said. <laughs> do men compare women to the women in porn? No. Well, it depends on what kind of porn you watch. <laughs> <laughs> the amateur porn is far better than, than the pre, Why pre- production one because it's real. Okay. That fake shit. But doesn't every man want a porn Hey, star? Ed, how are you? Shows up just in time for the hunga chunka here. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm segueing into the patty cake sexy talk. <laughs> oh, boy. I do have letter, lines and lines of commentary Carmi buddy what's up um but no um Read it! so okay so you said they don't compare them but don't they but don't the guys look at the girls that are in porn and, all right and so there are there is a uh, now speaking from a guy who has visited a gentleman's establishment or two okay yeah, this is me off too, I'm pissed off I I treat everybody with respect until yes. they disrespect me yeah guys come walking into those places and start slapping asses and talking to them like you're a whore, this, that, and the other. These are people who are working to make... Because they think the girls want that and like that? They think that, but they think that in real life, too. If you talk to a lot of girls who just, I mean, they grew up in, in a porn society because it's free online. When Bumpa and I were growing up, and you were growing up, too. It was a magazine that a neighbor's father now, always when had. When was the first time you ever watched a porno on VHS? At somebody else's house. What age? Because hmm. I can top you. It was like 15, 16. Yeah, yeah, I can top you easily. Yeah, I was, was 13 in my living room <laughs> with an adult parental figure. <laughs> Dad just wanted to watch a flick, huh? Yeah, yeah. Dad was cocked and said, oh, you should watch this movie. And I was like, what the fuck oh is this? <laughs> yeah. Well, at least he didn't try to dip into the family purse. Uh, uh, I watched I watch one. I forget what it was when I was like 15, the first one I saw. I remember. Debbie Does Dallas. Uh, no. <laughs> 
I remember around no. 18, 19, I saw another one at a friend's house. and Okay, were you, was your friend watching it with you? Well, there was like eight of us there. It was like, you know, how is that? I have to ask that. Uh, sitting around watching a porno, how did you feel about that? Well, it, was it, it a little uncomfortable. No, it, it, was, yeah, it wasn't the plan. Are you thinking to yourself, "Am I going to get jumped up in front of these dudes?" No, yeah. no we wore enough. No, clothes it was, it was a mix. Then. It was a we mix. weren't wearing skinny jeans. It was a mix of guys and girls. I mean, and it was just like it was. Besides, just, when you're were a kid, you really trying to get with was, one of the girls. No, there was no plan there. It just simply said, uh, "Whoops." You know, <laughs> one of the guys said that. Oh, I got this video. I want to watch it. Put it in, and and I remember clearly it, the name of it was "Black Man and Anal Woman." <laughs> and was, black man was dressed up like Batman, but with a dog oh, hanging ooh. on. And hey now. <laughs> uh, anal woman was dressed like a um, a blacked out version of Wonder Woman. And <laughs> I was just like, ooh, like you're loving it? No, I, well, not really. I'm just like, this is fucked up because. Um, you know. So how did it end, though? Did he just all of a sudden just got him stopped? They stopped. It? Yeah, it was only on for like five or ten minutes. You know, I mean, it was just like, you know, you see fucking, you see black man come in with his, <laughs> with his fourteen inch hanging out. Ooh, and, oh, that you would know, hurt. Yeah, that's going through my throat. So it's hanging up, like, it's hanging up like, you know, like a way up, and anal woman just <laughs> takes it right in the butt, and just they, she just bounces on him. You remember? Your first porno movie? I don't remember the four. I don't know the first one. I was like, that was the second oh, one. Oh, mine was something Again. with Peter North, who I still think is freaking amazing. But the, uh, talking about his similar situation with the people, my most uncomfortable time with a group of people, like, I mean, it was a mixed bag. It was like a couple couples, a couple, uh, couple lesbian couples, and then like some singles, <laughs> and um, someone brings over the Tom and... Uh, Tommy and Pamela adult video. Oh. Yeah, and I was like, I was more of a, I wanted to watch it because I wanted to see what he looked like. I was like intrigued by I wanted to see because mm, I'm turned on by Tommy Lee and and used to be by drummers. But So did more. you think it was uh, <laughs> a good movie? I only saw a few minutes of it because I got extremely shy. You know. I got extremely freaked out. I have I'm to thinking, tell you. Yeah. Everybody in America only watched a few minutes of that. I saw the boat part where she's like kissing him. It's like, oh, Tommy, I love you, or whatever. Oh, yeah, that was brilliant. I'd watch it again, though. <laughs> I need. I missed the, I missed the plot. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> Dear uh, Byron. Yes? My friend wants me to be in a porn with him. What do I do? Signed yours, Hinky Dinky. <laughs> Where the hell is Hunga Chunga? That's right, Ed. The Hunga Chunga. They hey. want to do the Hunga Chunga. Now, are we talking? If your friend asked you to go into a porn, would you? Hey, you can make a shit ton of money, dude. All you got to do is. 25 do years ago, yeah, I would have. Yeah. Not Paid so much, much anymore. I got, I got a little overhang going. I'm, I'm a Ooh, little bit older. Wait a minute. What kind of overhang? <laughs> Put it this way, I'm not going to get a sunburn on all of my cock anymore. <laughs> That's what she said. That was just way too much visual. Thank you. Huh. <laughs> I suck it in a lot. And that's why I get like head rushes. And I'm like, oh, God, I can't breathe. <laughs> No, I. <laughs> oh my god! I say things for shock value. Yeah, who doesn't, right? I have a. a Byron will not get a sunburn on all of his cock. Film at eleven. Yeah. Is <laughs> <laughs> Byron on the street naked? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That cops. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. So our a buddy of ours also posted on my Facebook page. Uh, L O Cool D. A.K.A. Dries yep. Napoleon. Dries, yes. Dries. Love Dries. Dries. And I did a little shout out to him and said, Yay! Dude, I miss you. I need to see you perform again. So hopefully we'll see him soon. Yeah. Actually, he's performing tonight, but we missed it. Oh. Where? Now that... Uh, I, w- I wish we would have planned this a little better. Now that we're not doing that show tomorrow night. Right. The the drag show. That's not happening? No. Oh. Well, the show I want to talk to you about that. Okay, but uh, uh, Glenn the, is snowbound in Nashville, so he's not coming in to do. Yes, 
So tonight is oh. Tan Man. Remember Tan Man? Oh, yeah. It's Tan Man's birthday at Electric Haze. And Drees and Kevin and ton like nine performers. And we missed it. What's going on now? It's going on right now. Oh. But, okay, so here's... All right, we're all out of here. We'll be back later on tonight. <laughs> How are you? How are you doing? I'm part three of the Wicked Parcel And my car got towed because I just parked it on the sidewalk. All right, so, um, all right, so here's something from Drees. He was having this conversation uh, with friends the other day. Mm-hmm. Is oral a deal breaker? Ooh. That's what I wrote on my Facebook page. Was, Ooh. <laughs> Oh my! I wrote depends. Are we talking first date, first few minutes hanging out, or just in general? Uh, All right, we can make this a roundtable discussion. We can. We don't have to just make it a dear Byron. We're uh, segu- uh, we're segue. Oh, we'll lead with you. Then we'll oh, lead with me. Because there's the deal. No, Byron it's moment. not a deal breaker right away. It it is. How do you bring that up? You don't. You, bring don't. That up. Right. you don't. You just don't. Okay, so you're in the middle. You've gotten okay. You've already until like five done months second, in. You've done like, second base. You know, you've you've kissed. You made out. You're running you're, around third. You're, t- you're, t- you're touching <laughs> over the pants. Maybe you're starting to touch under the pants. It's like, what do you? How does a guy bring that up to a girl? Does a girl just instinctually think to herself, "Well, I'm just going to head down there"? I do know up. one girl that I went to high school with, and she's married to a guy, and there is no oral. And a lot of girls don't like that. He's a grumpy looking fuck. Oral is 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 nice. It's 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 a great treat. Yes. It's big. It's fleshy. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's 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 a it's a great treat. Oh, I want to. have another question. Something. Oh, she's got another question. So going off of that, so don't look is at it me. A, don't no, look at me. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to now. Just so you say it's a treat. So. Is it a tr- is it like a, a little gift for a woman to give to a man if she just does that for the Absolutely. man and doesn't want you don't have to do anything to her? Maybe you guys are just kissing whatever, and all of a sudden you she's like, it. you know what? I'm just gonna blow you to completion. <laughs> is that like a little present? Is that a little present oh, for the guy? God. That's a, it's an amazing gift mm-hmm. okay. if if you don't do that. Oh, <laughs> oh that's bump over there. Sorry. Whoa. So sometimes I. I, I <laughs> Uh, some in, in my previous life, <laughs> that would be a present during said. during that time of the month. That would be present. You know, it's like, hey, okay, we're not gonna have sex, so I'm gonna do this for you. I uh, is that, is that a nice little courtesy thing? To be or? honest, it would be open and yeah, honest because Co- people don't really know me, and uh, <laughs> I'm an evil fuck. Uh, I do remember one time. Hazy in the past, many, many moons ago. Uh, I'm talking 20 plus years. I was. Okay. Oh, God, 30 years. Shut up. Jesus. It is. She had a sore throat and she did her damnedest. And it was. <laughs> okay. And it was like, you know, you didn't have to do that. Did she get you to. Oh, yeah. Okay. It was, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But now, okay, can I say something that's like okay for a girl? If it lasts a little bit past a certain amount of time, your girl's like getting locked y'all get here. She's thing. like, oh, I think I'm, all, I'm all set. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> Maybe you know. And you lose the sound effect. You know? <laughs> and then, but then again, there are guys out there who are like, Oh my God, who the hell cares? Just get down there. Yeah. yeah, but you'd be down there for twenty minutes. <laughs> I'm like, all right, my uh, my head hurts. My, my, I've done it. <laughs> let me, let me do a hand motion. Let me, let me do that. But now, you know, for guys, you know, for some guys, oral is probably not a deal breaker. How about for women, though? Is it a deal breaker? What, is, what do you mean by that? It, you, exactly. need, you need a guy to go on down on you? Not always. No, I'm not saying always, but like if you got a if you got a guy that never went down on you, would you or, be happy? I've Oh, shit. Incrimination time. Uh-oh. I was with a guy that never, ever went down on me. And oh, I was yeah. just like, dude, I actually said something to him once. I'm like, yeah, you, you, never, so, you never, like, help me out. You never do anything. <laughs> oh, one time. I go, no, you kissed my thigh. 
does not count. <laughs> I'm go- I'm doing the duty to you a lot That's of the time. Said. Okay, so but this Tiger guy Lily had said, a big old ego. Tiger Lily says you got to switch off with the hands every once in a while. Yes, and I do. <laughs> I just say that, Some people call that cheater's <laughs> head. What do you mean, cheater's head? Like if you're just kind of doing a hunka chunka with your hands. No, okay. If it's the majority, if it's more than fifty percent of the time that you're doing with the hand, yeah, that's cheater's head. No, but I if, need a sound effect for that. And I don't uh, have one. How's that one? Uh, that's <laughs> <laughs> that is called oh. a shock top ruby fresh burp, baby. So your cock will be shock top, shock top fresh. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be tasting like fruity uh, grapefruit. Yes, Bumpa. You, uh, no, no. no. How about you, Bart? Do you go down on a girl? Yes. Have you ever burped? While down there? Yep. <laughs> well, I mix it with a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, just thinking, I mean, you know, you get down there, you spend like 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then you just stop and like, you know, just like, and then you just, I have a question. What do you say to that? Then you try to continue, and, what you, you know, but then the, the girl's like, no, she starts cracking up. The girl starts cracking up. And she's like, no, no, I got to pee. Get out, get out, get out. I'm going to pee. But, you know. So have you ever, I, I, you know, I've never, no, I haven't belched while doing that. Uh, but have you ever, Bumpa, this one's, this, this is a dear Bumpa Come question. Come the chef. Coming, coming from bathroom buddy, too. <laughs> dear Bumpa. I'm on the show right now. I'll have you home. ever been going down on a girl and heard this? I'm bored! <laughs> No, but I've been bored. <laughs> I'll agree. Not not in my current situation, oh, but in a previous situation. I just, you know what? Because and I didn't know right spot. I already, don't, you know, I already. Maybe I'm just not into it at the moment. I'm just. Maybe I just don't even want to have sex. And I'm just like, yeah, okay. Can you just hurry up and get this? Okay. So like, while it's going on, you you've got this in your head. Hell, fuck yeah! Hurry up and finish. A, co- a, fo- a cooking show's on that I want to watch. <laughs> huh. I can see, I can almost see Tiger Lily doing that. Hurry up, hurry up, I got something in the oven. Yay! Right? <laughs> I'd be like, I'm I got 13 minutes, that's it. Oh my god, I've done that! I've done that! Switch up. Like, listen, no, oh, I'd be like, listen, I've got something, something going in the oven. He wants to get she it on real quick. She wants her, bun, she wants her, she wants her buns, but, uh, but, uh, I said, butter. Get off blah, 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 me, blah, 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 it's blah, 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 beeping blah. now, I've got to go. <laughs> oh, time to go, I've got to get the uh, muffins out of the oven. You oh. didn't get the butter in time. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. That's not right. Not right. <laughs> oh my god, we went from sounding like intelligent people to boobs. In Is like that because I showed up? No. You know what? That was no. my intention, to be honest with you. No, we could have been able to stay on go. subject <laughs> quick. No, I wanted, I wanted to give you guys some time. Oh, no, like, Tiger I, Lily wants to watch The Great B- British Bake Off. Oh, I love that show, Tiger Lily. I do like the show. I'm more can into I, Gordon Ramsay. But yes, I know. Love that guy. Can I write? Uh, How to be him? Can I read a co- uh, comment from Cat Jones, Goddess Cat yes. Jones? This Whoops. is in reference to the uh, Dries Napoleon comment. Was having this com- conversation the other day. His oral deal breaker. Okay. Um, he he also said in general, one person said if they find out the person doesn't do it, they are done. Okay, so okay, let me oh, and then I'll go to Cat's comment. You got a more. So you find out, okay, you you kind of digging on this chick a little bit. You think she's cool, you know, she's got a, you know, cute body, cute face, whatever. You're just into her, and you find out she's just like, ooh, I will never put a penis in my. But you mouth. have to understand, there may be a very valid reason for what that. What would a valid reason be? She's psychologic psychologically damaged yeah it could be she thing. had something Absolutely. in her youth or something that just but is that is that gonna ruin the sex life between you and her if you care a lot about the person you'll, you'll power through it you'll, okay you'll... it's beginning stages you're going Again, if you're you, going pre, if pre- you, pre- if you pre- I can't care. talk for shit no no you're looking at her you're like this chick is pretty hot I've talked to her a few times on, on DMs or texts or this or that, or this or that. she's pretty cool she, I'm getting a good vibe but you and don't if know. you care enough. Well, how do you know you care? You don't know you care until you're early on. In, you're, you you know, have she's, to, she's saying you're early on in the yeah. You have to you have to keep on going until Safe. you figure out that all of a sudden it does become a deal breaker. Yeah, it sucks, but okay. it does. 
And that's when, but, when things but happen. She, does but she you tell have you to, that, and then you're instantly like, "That's a deal breaker"? Or no? Do you try to say, "Well, let me find out maybe well, the root of the problem"? No, a bit, I mean, you don't push anything on anybody ever. That's the one right, thing. It's only going to backfire. In Any case. guy who says all women like everything I do, that guy is lying. A hundred and ten percent is lying. That's what she said. <laughs> no, I <laughs> Tiger Lily says she's going to watch uh, British Bake Off. Uh, so oh. it, in that rush, in that rush time, so she'll take out a whip. Ooh, whoops! Ooh, I know, right? I know. We, we, we uh, went back in time there. We, we, the needle we, skipped the record. Put the needle on the record. Put the needle on the record. Put the needle on the record when the drum beat goes See, like this. She knows. Oh, it's in. All right, the cat writes. Definitely a deal breaker. For women, approximately ninety percent of women cannot get off on intercoastal intercourse alone that being said oral from our partner can be super important now i'm taking talking for consideration for serious relationships here if for example the other person and i are just casual partners then to me oral is not expected as it is a very personal act don't expect me to do it though there are plenty of other ways to get around not doing oral but for me for long-term bonding so important does that make sense and then Dries, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Some people feel that kissing is very personal and very intimate. Am I fucked up? You got to be on the microphone. You have a, a specifically directed microphone. This is my microphone. There you go. Mm. Yeah, there right you go. Face. There we go. But no, some people keep find... waving that thing in her face. There, oh, it's so big. It's it's so That's black. What she said. <laughs> no, but um, some people find think that I okay. Going back to porn stars. Porn stars don't kiss a lot in porn movies because that's very intimate and very personal. Well, did you notice that? Uh, and 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 you just, you you don't kiss a stripper at, at a dirty strip joint. But you let her grind her naked wetness all over you and put her naked. All right, so we, and, I'm going to go back to the time when. Mm-hmm. And a couple of my friends at a at a bar bought a dance for me, and I went back there, and she did the old grab thing, and I'm like, "I'm out of here, see ya." Oh no, she took my hand and, and yeah. fondled herself with your hand. That was nice of her. Whoops. Yeah, I, I was like, "Okay, here's your twenty bucks. See you later, bye." <laughs> That's the one who just there was like nothing there, though. Right? Dead, dead in the eyes. He's like, "You like this, right?" Oh, no, yeah. it was sad. It. I understand the job is not a fun job by any stretch well, of the imagination. But you know, one of the things uh, you know, you know, is that many of the uh, girls—not many—I don't want to say many. That sounds bad, but some of the girls have an addiction problem, and you know, so that's some why of, they get into stripping, right? Right. And, and not, others get it's in because it is good money, right? Yeah. Others, it you can know, be other right. If they, it's it's better than having to work a nine to five job. Now, you know, for some what of them. a lot of people don't understand is dancers pay fees. They pay out. They they tip out the, the DJ, DJ, the house mother. No, there's no house mother. That's a there's myth. Not? No, not really. They used to be. They, they have, used to be. They have to pay yeah. the house a certain amount. Yeah. So it's paying to work, and then on top of it, they have if they're lockers. Certain places charge a twenty-five dollar a night lock fee mm-hmm. to lock your shit up, because, as we know, there are some less than honorable people who are doing that job. And girls don't, and the shit gets stolen all the time. Yeah. And then yeah. on top of it are those who turn tricks, and people saying yeah. there is no sex in the champagne room. There is. There has been, oh, not for me. I wouldn't. <laughs> no, it's. For me, it is what it is. It, it is what it's intended to be. It's intended to. <coughs> it's like a uh, a girl that you can never. Uh, it's kind of weird, but you go there, you have fun, and then you go home. Right, right, right. Yeah, you just want to see some titties. You don't want to see some titties. You want to get a little bit of special attention from a girl for a few. And if you're not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But uh, some people, it's it's an addiction. Like the guy we met last night. Remember that? He bought us the shots there, Bumpa? Yeah. Nice guy. But he yeah, spent... Yeah, left your girl out. Thank he you. He spent... Mm-hmm, oh, Jesus, mm-hmm, Joey. Mm-hmm. 
as I fell asleep with my glasses on my face watching RuPaul Drag Race. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We invited you. You did. I'm just fucking with you. Um, you guys keep going. I have to uh, go t- use a little girl's room, so okay. I'll be back in a few Maybe she'll use of a day and we'll hear a scream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it might be a few minutes. Oops. I did have Mexican tonight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fire in a hole. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Jesus yeah, oh my god, there's shit crashing all over the place. But yeah, you, know, you know the girls there they, they pay the how the, the fees are ridiculous, mm-hmm. and that's why some of them they 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 work harder than they need to. Yeah, because they, you know right off the bat, <clears throat> I think they figured we figured out one time it was like the average is like seventy five bucks a night just just to work paying out. They got to pay out seventy five bucks, so. You know, they have to come up with, you know, a, a, I don't know, let's have probably like six or seven dances just to just to pay for them to work. Yeah. And then after that, you know, that then they start making money. That the fuck money. out of me. Because yeah. in the meantime, you get guys who are, are like spitting one dollar at mm-hmm. a time. And they're, uh, let me uh, kill that one there. Okay. And, but that's why the, uh, you know, it's, they say all cash business because that's what it is. And that's how those places Make money. That's how. That's how. Um, you know, a, a strip club makes money because so much of that cash is off the books. Oh, every, you know, almost I mean, every dollar. Yeah, it is. it's just like pizza places. You know, most people here. You go to a pizza place. A lot of pizza places still quote cash only. I really enjoy that little section on the uh, income tax thing where they tell you declare your tips. Yeah. Right. Are you shitting me? Declare my fucking tips. Yeah. Fuck you! But you know, I work for that. It, w- it wouldn't. The government take, wants a piece of that. You're supposed to declare at least thirty uh, percent of your tips, right? Yeah. So bullshit. thirty. That's what you're supposed to. You're supposed to claim thirty percent of your total tips, and it's bullshit. It's easy to say nothing, but honestly, you could get targeted uh, on an audit easily because, like, if I, you know, if I'm an IRS agent, I, I your form comes across my desk. All right, occupation. And you were going to look directly into that form going, oh, I'm going to get them. Well, yeah, a waiter, waitress, um, you know, and then they only claim their, you know, their $3 an hour or whatever, right? I work at a really shitty restaurant yeah. with really shitty food, so I don't make many tips. So, oh, okay, yeah. good. So, that you know, I see that, like, they're 35 years old, and they're claiming they made four grand, you know, and I'm going to know better, you know, so... Yeah, they and they put nothing for tips. Hey, we've been in some restaurants that we've gone like this. What the fuck did yeah. we just eat? Oh yeah, and it's it's not you know. Well, then you have people like you, you know, Mister Tipper. I don't know if it's I Mr. tip on Tip. how I feel. You do, okay. but it, you know it's also because you're way off on math. So all right, I'm a little retarded on the math. Yeah, when it comes but. to math, and I, I the generous, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> I get to being generous on on a tip for good service, but you know, I mean, you you tip it like come on, 50, you've had you've had 50, a bartender seventy five percent, but you've had a bartender who has recommended just the right thing at the right time. And I get that sometimes. I do. I get that, but you are frequent. Not no frequent, no 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 no. Frequent no. no I go pepper. twenty. Minimum twenty. Right, minimum twenty. It's fifteen. All, you're a, you're a, fifteen. You, if the service is absolute shit, I see. You tend to be, you know, because you you pull off your quick quick math a lot. Thirty to fifty percent. No, I use you know, often like th- I, I don't use, use my phone. You know, tip calculator thing. Yep. But I mean, a lot. I've and seen servers it. hate when you whip out the phone. Well, you by do, the way, you they do that. absolutely hate that. I, I've seen you know you'll do that. You'll calculate it. I'll tell you how much, and then you'll just throw a couple more bucks on it. If they're good, they get it. And so you go from being at like 20% to that few extra bucks makes a 30% or something like that. So I'm making a a decent amount of money. Yeah. And then I go there, and these people are making $2 to $3 an hour. I think something you need to look at is the... uh, But when when I walk back in the door, do those servers not recognize me? Do I not get good service? Sometimes you get it. Sometimes, but you know, I mean, uh, oh, Tiger Lily says you can date. Uh, you can tell a good guy on a date if he tips well, right? And I have, I don't have a problem with good tipping. He is just, I mean, 
again, once in a while. No, nope, I got to give. I got to be super generous. I got to give Tiger Lily he's this. Throw, one. He's throw money out the window. That's just my two cents. You throw money out the window well, because you hate everybody. I don't hate everybody. I, I love service. I like. Um, I target around twenty percent myself, and that, that's what I think. But you have to look at over the year that hundreds, if not maybe thousands, because you go out a lot. So I do. Yeah, that hundred, if not thousands, of dollars. But I don't have kids. Of so. Extra tips, right? But I, mean, I call it child support. But I mean, you probably you easily throw them probably in, in, in a year. Easily probably throw a grand extra more than you have to in oh tips. My! Yeah. <laughs> so it's just you know I, I I get the generous tipping, but you are excessively generous and and I get what you're trying to say as far as the service. Hey, they recognize me, yeah, but you know what? Also, the, the good chance next time you go back to that bartender doesn't work there anymore either. You know, I mean, no, I've got a lot of places that high. I've got a, a, a good bunch of friends who are bartenders and servers. Uh, T being one of them. Yeah. T is amazing. And that guy, when I walk in the door and it, it, the bar is five deep, he holds a beer up. <laughs> and yeah. I, I, I fight my way through the crowd and I get the hand of the beer and I don't, I don't expect it, but I do appreciate it. And right. this guy is an amazing bartender. I haven't seen him. Right, the one time I saw him screw up, it was during a uh, an Olympics of the uh, bartenders thing where they're doing the flare shit, tossing yeah. bottles, and some bitch was <laughs> sitting on the corner of the bar, not paying attention. This is like being in the front row at a baseball game. Yeah, piece of broken bat, or a ball comes at you, whack, whacked her. The bottle whacked her right in her hand because his hand slipped off the bottle. The bottle, yeah, clocked her right in the head. Oof. I feel really bad for T. Not so much for her. You paid for the front row seat just like I did. Right. I, I paid a premium to, to sit in on this. I, I sat next to one of the judges. Scofie was one of the judges. Yeah. Where she's tr- tasting the drinks that they're making while they're doing all these slipping shit things. And, uh, I mean, the music, the, it was a great entertainment. And then this woman is just... <laughs> down she goes. Yeah. T was rattled and never joined in the... The, the party games again <laughs> it was it was one night the yeah it was one night that everybody was was having the time of their lives and yeah we one had, person to ruin it yeah, yeah. yeah. fucked it up for everybody but yeah you know oh. Tiger says your your line that you often say if, if you um if you have the money if, to go out you have to tip or, or yeah, if you, you don't have money to you tip, don't have money to tip you, don't you have can't money to go. go out and I I do agree with that I I, I feel that you never should jip uh, on the tip and the bar we go to. Yeah. How many people tip a quarter a drink? So. Isn't that kind of like spitting in their face? Oh, yeah, it is. I mean, just leaving a quarter. A dollar a drink yeah. minimum. Because, yeah. A, they have to go and then well, what am prepare I, it for you. Right. One of my things, and, I, and I've done this, I'll tell, I'll tell a bartender or a waitress, you know, if, they, if the first round they bring, like, when I get a change, I only, I only had like a buck. My next one, I'll, I'll leave you more on my next one. Like I did... That la- uh, last night, I yeah. had to because I didn't have the change. Right, and it's just the way the change goes. That's why I said one but more. You, right, you, t- you tell the lady, "Hey, I'll, I'll, I'm going to get you. Don't worry, I'll give you a good tip after." Because you don't want them to feel insulted that you only leave fifty cents a buck, whatever. For but if you know, you're that asshole, drinks. that leaves you a quarter for a fucking drink. Yeah, right. And is there some people that are like that? That you know they 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 order a drink and it's uh, you know it comes out the more, four bucks four more fifty. People, I want my change back. More people than you think do that. Oh yeah, especially at at the nudie bars. Yeah, they go up there. They get their their drink. Now you're paying premium prices at these places. Oh, it kills me. What is it like? What do we pay about a buck and a quarter for a thirty two ounce beer or something like that? Right. But, but you, you pay go, seven bucks. Or yeah, whatever. you pay seven bucks for that same buck and a quarter across yeah. the street. That person also may not be comfortable while sitting in that yeah. bar, and they're they're working their ass off. Be- why? Because the tips typically should be good. They're not. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I I agree with you and Tiger Lily. You know, don't have the money to tip. You don't have the money to go out. But I, I just think the way you tip is. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh my God, I saw him tip. Is oh wait, hold on a second. Yeah, oh, I okay. figured he shut my shit off. Well, we had to. Why? Because yeah. you want to hear me grunting in the other room? Yeah. yeah. Well, you did, you know. <clears throat> well, it wasn't hurting. Oh, I told you I had my You farted. <laughs> but, uh, I am so totally kidding. 
You're welcome. I'll get you a beer. Oh, Lord thank Byron. you so much. Oh, oh. We'll just take a quick break. Yeah, you want to take a quick break? We'll take a quick break. We'll come right back, folks. Good, because i got to pee. What are we playing? Uh, we're going to play one good luck in just a second. You are listening to the Wicked Business Show. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. Whoops. They've got a little bit of Power Glide. I hear they're coming out with a new album soon. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. You're listening to the Wicked Business Show. Power glide with one good lick. Really? That's yep. that's you don't go. Oh yeah, power glide. One good lick. On I'll, WFAQ. I'll, fuck you, radio. I was more ready to, to deliver my. Oh. You know. oh yeah. Yeah. All right. So next time we'll just say that. that to oh, uh, whoever deserves that's it. That's what she said. <laughs> that's what she said. Ooh. Uh, I shouldn't talk to you like that. I am a single woman. <laughs> You're fresh. That's what you I are. am so fresh, baby. Yeah, we know that. But I kind of have a new guy, so he might not like me talking to you guys like this. So <laughs> I gotta uh, watch. I gotta watch my P's and Q's. says, uh, "Fuck that! If I get shit service, I'll write a big old zero in the line." Yep. Maybe I'm gonna ask, but I'm not gonna tip someone for piss poor service. I agree, and I have done that. Uh, not I maybe twice in my life. What gave not tip like because I'd give a so shitty rude. tip. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. But um, my friend Kristen, my best friend, she worked at Chili's when it was before it was Hooters yeah. in Shrewsbury, and uh, she said Athol's come in there and put like the the tip and in, in change inside a water a glass of water 
you know, yeah. all kinds of douchey things and stuff yeah. like that. Well, so, I mean, like, this okay. one goes out to Patty. What's this? Oh my god, girl like you? Summer no. Night. Is this Y&T? I got a new girl now by Honeymoon Sweet. Oh, here you go. Oh. I got a new girl now? Yeah. No, well, no you know. I, I got a guy now. No, you, you could have a girl though. Actually, I do go oh, both ways. Oh <laughs> I know. Oh. Uh, what is it with girls on this show that go both ways? Oh. I'm not the first one. Well, you you say you're not the first one, right? But I mean, I we, we atta- probably know you're not the first one. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I mean, you I are the first attacked. one. I was attacked at the um, show I went to Saturday night. Whoops. St. Patrick's Day. I heard. Uh, yeah, some I, bite marks. I got a couple of bite marks on my chest from a oh, special lady. On your friend. chest, you know, on my you're going chest. To, you go to Arkansas. From a special lady. You friend. know, it's illegal in Arkan in certain parts of Arkansas to call it Arkans- Arkansas. Really, Arkansas. Arkansas. Oh, this moment. Oh my God, I love Kane Brown. <laughs> Thank you for playing that song for me. Hey, no problem. Mama. You know what I like, Bumpa. Hey, I, I pay attention, you know. <laughs> you do. You're a good Whoops. friend. Very good friend. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Uh, He's a good friend. Oh, May. You did it again. I like messing Hello. with him. Mm-hmm. I said, fresh. Close to just fresh. I am not fresh, baby. Anyway, all right. So, we talked about if men bleed, would tampons be free? I'm mm-hmm. just checking up my notes. Oh, do you... Sp- should a girl spit or swallow? Is it more polite to swallow, even if you don't like it? Ooh, well, let's see what we oh, you know what? A girl here. wrote this. A girl wrote this on my page. So I'm thinking it's maybe directed towards me. So I'm thinking, okay. So ye, not to be completely gross, but I will. Um, there has been times when it is just a foul tasting substance. And it's chunky, like like potato soup or whatever. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Because that's what a girl senses sometimes. Think about that. Think about what a girl has to go through. Yeah. Oh. Does a guy ever get some chunky substance from a girl? He might get a little toilet paper. <laughs> uh. Oh. Uh, I, I have been at a uh, gentleman's club and there was a little bit of a tampon string. No yeast popping out. Some chunk. Uh, and a little chunk. And she's doing the, her thing, and I'm like, uh, "Darling, you got to get that fixed." That's enough. Go backstage that. and. Oh, that's sad. Come back later, and she didn't come back later. <laughs> so what, you saw like the creaminess. Oh, it was not good. That poor girl. Uh, uh, much like life, I, I am. Simon Cowell, and I don't. I have <laughs> no regrets in saying no regrets in saying. Oh my God! <laughs> Not even one letter. <laughs> no, no regrets. It's like chucking chunky soup. You need a fork and spoon. <laughs> That's oh, Ed shaking his head. Oh. Wow. All right. Um. Can I keep going? That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Go right ahead. All right. I'm all over the board, but she it's all se- it's all sex related. So, sure. Because I'm all sexed up. I do actually need a, I need a boyfriend soon. <laughs> because my batteries are dying. <laughs> All right, so anyway. Um, guys, I'm going to ask you this question. Hello, it's big, it's fleshy, it's ribbed. Uh, it's purple. Fleshy is ribbed. You know what? It doesn't have to be big. I got a question. It could be the size of a toothbrush. Are the, the, okay. Are, are the guys in our audience... Intimidated by girls who like to use toys, like they're they're men to use toys. That's actually on my list. I have a question about that. All right, are they? Uh, besides that, are they intimidated by girls using toys? Are they in, intimidated by maybe a girl playing with it or getting herself off or helping the guy get herself off? I think this is kind of a turn on. Yeah. Yeah. Bumpa. Yeah. What's the sad sack music you're playing? It's not sad music. (laughs) It's the sappy music. Who are you Uh, dedicating this to, Casey Kasem? Well, it's a a love song, so when you're going down on somebody, right? That's not love, baby. You should be playing Erotic City. Can't you see? That's so dirty, you and me. (laughs) I I can't help but to be a more sensual type. 
again, I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. Do you like music during sex? Bumpa and Byron. Yes. You do? Over quiet? Okay, so you have a quiet room. Yeah. Will you purposely put on music? I could not imagine... You know, he'll listen to some music, but then... Turn it up! You know, <laughs> you know how his music's going to be, though. It'll be great great stuff like you like, but then it'll, some obscure shit that you never I've heard I've been listening of. to Oingo Boingo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it'll turn into this. See, I don't know if I'm having sex with this. Here she come now, say a moment. Uh, I know, I'm just making it up. Do it, do it. Hold on, come on. She's hot in this, too. Chill yet? With dirty deeds done, dirt cheap on WFAQ. Is she really? Right, long time ago she did wow. it because she's fucking hot here. Oh, wow. Really? Hottest lesbian I've ever seen play. Wasn't she with Carmen Electra? For a minute. Yeah. Wasn't everybody with Carmen Electra? Come on now. <laughs> All right. So, question. No, you didn't answer me, Byron. Do you make love or have sex with music playing? I have. Okay. Music or television or nothing. A television, yeah, because it just kind of happens in the TV. Now, the most disturbing thing is is when you hear, Ah! I'm dying! You just, See, yeah, I picked the pill, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God! It's just kind of... Well, that, that happens. If you're <laughs> using it in the routine. Huh? I'm using it in my comedy routine. That happens, Leo. You, you, you ever get in a smoothie? And you're just like, oh, baby, that's good. I can, but see, I can see that happening with you. Oh, I like that With way. you, as you're Mr. Four to Six Hour. Mm-hmm. I can see that happening because you'd start off with something like maybe a, a more quiet movie. And then a couple hours later... Like the fucking, great outdoors? And, yeah, there you go. And, but, you know, maybe an hour, a couple hours later, fucking Rambo's on. No, you know. I mean, you'd be sitting there to... Boom, da, da, down, down. And then... Tonight on the news, North Korea nukes California. <laughs> I mean, it really can't get, like, on that, you know. It's sex with Judge Judy in the background. I got... You do like Judge Judy. I do love Judge Judy. She is my idol. Do not play White Wedding. I will shoot you in the foot. Ouch. That was my wedding song. <laughs> so I... I, I really like the one. That's Void. I really like the one. Uh, it was the uh, late 80s hit, uh, uh, Cradle of Love. Rock the Crit. Ford Fairlane. Movie. Yeah, yeah, it was. Starring Andrew Dice Clay. And... Uh, <gasps> Zuzu petals. Yes. <laughs> the, the oh, girl my there. God. Um, all right. So I actually used to go as far too as I would pick out a certain oh. CD or certain, uh, or I'd make a playlist. I actually still do make playlists from that. And making. apparently White Wedding is not in that playlist. It was deleted about two months, about a month and a half ago. <laughs> the guitar riff in that is great, though. I do not care. <laughs> hey, I still listen to uh, to uh, uh, your wedding songs. I do. Mm-hmm. Really? Oh, I, I can't. Know. I have to fast You're forward. Fucked now. up. Yeah. They make me. It makes me want to vomit. That is not what Bumba got married to. No, that's what it is. But that. But this is what I got married to. Ready? It hard uh, to breathe. <laughs> oh my! Don't play that song. Don't play that song either. Don't play that no? song. Don't play that song, please. I right, wait. I gotta oh, hear the knocks. Shit. Oh my god! Fucking shit! Hold on, little girl. <laughs> Show me what he does to you. Uh, that was the first. Ed. Oh no! Was it? Uh, yeah, I think it was. Can't to talk be about that fucking song. Ugh. For six months. First six months. Every single time that song came on the radio, the phone would ring. Hey. Just thinking about you. You listening to the radio? Yeah. Our song's on. I really enjoy this one. Right, as long as it works. Is it Rush? No. <laughs> this is more of Mr. Big with Green Tinted 60's Mind. Apparently you didn't listen to the whole album, did you? I was transitioning from R&B into rock when I met my husband in 92. I met him February 92. So I, I was still, I was still in, 91, so. 
So I was still into the Bobby Brown, MC Hammer, Vanilla Ice phase for a while. I do remember in 93 seeing um, Tesla with Firehouse and loving it. God, I would have uh, died to see that show. I, uh, I was in my, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and my girlfriend was a complete nut. She was of all of four and nine. She, Armenian. Thick ass thigh gymnastic chick. Crazy dancer. She didn't drink. She didn't do anything. But we would, we would, um, we worked at a store together. And the one of the only times she ever smoked, we smoked and went to work. And we were like bug eyed trying to work. And we're like, we went to the food court and bought food from like five different places. We were trying to eat the high away. Just because we were so paranoid. Eat the, eat the high away? Is that what you said? Eat the high away. Oh, eat the high <laughs> away. Because we had to run the store. Jeez. But no, she was a hot ticket. I can see it now. You stand there side by side at the record store, and I'll see you. Oh, you farted. <laughs> <laughs> she's crazy. Her name was Nancy Jezrawi. I bet you she's the size of a Mack truck now. No. Oh, my God. No. Nope. Really? She's still 4'9". She's such a douche. Oh I should show you a picture God. of something. You no, should. She's cool. I think she... Oh, my. If she's not a doctor, she's <laughs> close to one right now. She's crazy. Ooh. But no, her and I were... She was a hot ticket. All right, so um, so what do we got next? So we talked about music, right? Yeah. So I don't know why your microphone's off. Hold on a sec. Oh, ah, I just unplugged myself. Ah. Oh, Tom, uh, I hate when that happens. I hate when I get unplugged too. All right, huh. I'm gonna go for the top here. Oh. Uh. Um, is there a fetish like we? You've talked about fet life a lot. That you've been on it or to, or bit seen it, read it, whatever. Sure, yeah, yeah. read it. Yeah. Um, is there a fetish that you've ever wanted to try or that you have tried that in recent years, like, oh, I was always curious about this. Well, my big thing is, is I want the person I'm with to experience what they want. Right. See? There you go. I like that. You want to, uh, because it's more interesting with someone else. Right, that's sort of into it or whatever. Hey, little girl, hey, daddy, home, did it go away, leave you Isn't all that just alone? like the most wrong mm-hmm. song, though? It is. Mm-hmm. But it's a great song. It is, Baby, but... I'm on fire. Wrong line. I'm on fire. You know what that means? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I, I, I he got a, a, a VD, a venereal disease. <laughs> I'm on fire. And he's going to the doctor because I'm on fire. No. I've heard that. Oh, 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 girl, I'm pissing fire. fire. Whoa, I'm pissing fire. Girls, fire. girls get shit like that too. Whoops. Yeah. And then if you yeah. itch it too much, she blows up like a balloon. <laughs> what? But, Why you know, won't this work? He's now? looking for side effects. Sound effect for that. But no, what's a uh, bumper? Is there something? Okay, so you've done. You have your repertoire of positions or or this or that or whatever you've done over the years. Has there ever been something that you were just even slightly interested in? <laughs> slightly interested, but maybe you didn't. You didn't think your partner would be into it, or no? So you guys, you know, I'm the more the the, the poor tra- of the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're traditional. We'll say you anything missionary is exotic. Okay, that might even be not that often. As he's chewing nuts, I hear you ch- chomping over there. Hi. I'm thinking to the greatest radio station in no, the world. No, you know what? Put yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone. I want I want you to not, oh, I, not be I so like shocked. Her. I like her. Oh, I've been out of my comfort zone. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Since the day oh. we started this show, you've been out of your comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> but no, is there something like that's even... Okay, A, I'm not going to put you on some stupid blast and be like, th- the two knuckles shit and all that fucking shit with the ass play. <laughs> I know we've talked about this. The five knuckle shuffle. And, and, you know, and your previous co-host talked about that. Don't talk about that. I, I'm serious. If, and fetish, there's so many fetishes in the world. Whether they be disgusting or perverted or just a little bit, again, out of your comfort zone. I don't have... I, so, you know, have you ever been jerked off with feet? You know, that's a fetish. You know, have you ever kissed a girl's feet? That's a fetish. You know what I mean? Or uh, have anal. That's a fetish, you know? Fuck the girl in her armpit. I don't know. 
Well, Actually, I just uh, made that up. Is that, <laughs> is that a fetish? I think it is. <laughs> I think it is. Let me take a look at the fat love. <laughs> Armpit fucking. Yes, there oh. it is. All right. Yes. So I, I say that Bumble wants to arm, armpit fuck somebody. No. Belly button? Um, okay, you wouldn't get into that? No, I will just, just stick my arm under the girl's That's armpit. weird. That would be weird. So that I, don't see, be weird. I don't see the girl getting pleasure from that. I what would, are you doing? I would purposely I'm getting off. Okay. leave uh, my, my armpit hairs to grow. Just be like, scratch your shit. Uh, okay. uh, and some stank. I'll put some stinky to get, uh, And Tiger uh, Lily confirms it is. <laughs> <laughs> of course she does. Thanks, T. Oh. So, Bumbo, do not avoid my question. Uh, wow. Give me, give me right. something that's a little bit he out of your like norm. He looks like a deer in traffic right now. I mean, there are things I would, you know... Mm. I, oh, right. No, thank you. <laughs> um, you want to think about it for one more minute? Yeah, yeah. You All are right, a Byron. smelly pirate hooker. You, <laughs> Byron, what is something you may not have done, but you're kind of still like, mm, it's a little bit on my bucket list that I might try and not be intimidated by? And please feel free to ask me the same damn question. I... I, um... Uh, that is not an appropriate song. <laughs> I don't think there's anything. I mean, I've done because you've done, tried a, a lot. lot. Yeah. yeah, I've tried a lot. Uh, I depend on other people to initiate. Yeah, that, other oh, other ladies that says that. Hey, because, right, this yeah. is what I'm into. That's yeah, what I'm thinking too. Try this? I mean, that's what I'm thinking too. I'm more along that line. Is like, you know, there's a lot of things I probably there's a lot of things you that I've done that you haven't. Okay, right, let's well, put it that way. Yeah, you're sick you want to go tit for tat, Byron? Oh. Let's go. Oh. Let's do it. Let's try it. Well, we know about the I'm bucket a, list. I'm, and, a, I'm uh, a freak. I'm a baby freak. I'm a baby freak. <laughs> I uh, would have to agree. Uh, okay, um, I'm just going to throw out some normal. Um, okay, again, with a foot. Okay. Has a woman ever touched you, tried to masturbate you with a foot? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> anal. Yes. Um. Threesome. No. Foursome. No. No. Right. No. That's that's five, six. Uh, no. That 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 cost, not, that, that does, does nothing pass, to me. That would do nothing. But Why? Cause because you're problems. older now. What about no, if you're younger? Be, no, because it would cause problems. And I knew right away. And I always knew because I didn't just look at the pictures in the Playboy magazines. Mm-hmm. I read the articles, yeah. and the people who said they had been involved in these group groups or mm-hmm. whatever, they tended to become jealous of what was going oh, yeah. on and there was then then that festered in their lives and it ended up blowing up later on <laughs> it just did should i elaborate on that <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> um so um oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Hold on a oh. so remember i'm in the rock star world or i was so um I tried a lot of different things. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, um, yes, I've actually been in a, a one or two, yeah, three sons. <laughs> in one or two four sons. And you're, you're, you're completely right. You're 100% right. Um, because if the girl moans a little bit better from what my guy is doing to her, of course I'm getting jealous. But we get Tiger Lily who says she's all for the one-on-one. And the one on one is it's it. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. When now it, in my current time, sorry. When it, now in my current state, yeah, hell yeah. One on one is all I need. Yeah. But you go through a period in life when sometimes you you want to check off that bucket list. Uh, you know, when you're a little younger, a little bit more free spirited. If there's if there's not a massive connection, I can see that being what if a possibility. Okay, so what if it's with mutual friends, like uh, friends okay, that no. you no. and you're. Fucked up. Nope. Like, no, nope. Can't do it. See, that was that. Okay. Alcohol and drugs have played a big part See, of that's my just shit. it. I never got into. I I have had the opportunity to do plenty of drugs. Right. I was at. Let's let's mute his microphone because he's like. I'm chewing. I got peanuts. Yeah. I know. 
But uh, he's got nuts in his he's mouth. He's got nuts. Maybe that's, that's what she said. List. All right. <laughs> so oh, he's going to get mad at me. We, we've got. If you're not attached to somebody and you're doing things because the drugs are lowering your inhibitions, right? The whole thing is: is are you enjoying it? You can at the moment. You can, but when but you does wake it up, play on morning, your mind. Yeah, it will play on your mind for the rest of your Fuck, life. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Hell, hell, hell yeah. That will always come but back it's to fun. Home. It was fun at the time. Sure, but. it might be fun at the time, but then again, you. I've always been a long term thinker. Mm-hmm. Always been a long term thinker. It's because I love this song. By the way, I do too. I love Dire Straits. Uh, Good job. The guy wrote the entire soundtrack to A Princess Bride. Mark Knopfler. Yes. I can't hear that. That, that oh. makes me very emotional, that album. Here comes John. Now I'm going to go. I'm a big fan of Sultans of Swing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. The uh, <coughs> what's, what's the one? Uh, there's a couple out there that I really like. But, Money but for again, nothing, go, I can to take go a leave. Whatever. Yeah. To go back to it. Um, Have you ever been naked in front of another man in a sexual no. situation? No. No. Nor would I really... Or in front of two women in a sexual situation? No. Pumpa? His mic's off. Pumpa? No, his mic's off. Who is it? No, no. What was it? No. Oh, Oh, Jesus. He's going to take out his (laughs) fucking monitor there. We'll fix that later on. Have you ever been naked in front of a couple women? Or a man with another couple? No, no, another couple, no. More than one, no. No? No, I can recall. That you can recall? Wait, no, I up? have I have audio proof that he was there. Bumba walked in. It was like... <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So do I sound horrible right now because I've experienced it? No, not at there? all. Not at all. <laughs> That's what makes uh, the world a great place. People <laughs> do things that they want to do yeah. at the moment. Uh, but, again, people have to... Now, because I wanted to do what I wanted to do... I didn't do a lot of stuff. I could have. It was out there. It was there for me. Right. Uh, I was also told not to do drugs because I had enough of a fucked up imagination as it was. So that's why I was told never to do acid. Um, oh, and that and people have flashbacks from that years later. <laughs> and I know a guy who's sitting in the back of a... Uh, it depends on how much you've done, I think. Hmm. I used to do acid in like half... I would do half. But if you lose enough. weight quickly, you'll all of a sudden you'll have a flashback. My friend did that. He really? went on a weight loss thing and boom, he had a bad fucking flashback. Hmm. He was Now, I I used to sit with uh and he was a friend of yours. I know he was. Uh first name was Chris. I'm not going to mention any last names. But I sat there and he we were on the front lawn together and the kids pulling at his cheek looking her and it, Oh, he's, you know, he pulled his cheek away from his face and it would snap back and he'd be surprised that his skin would snap back. Well, that's a little weird. He must have done a lot of acid. It was a lot of acid, yeah. (coughs) I didn't uh, do a lot. Later on, he was driving a shuttle bus for somewhere. I saw him and I'm like, I'm not getting on this bus. I'll wait for the next one. I did have a really bad trip one time. Mm -hmm. So bad I had to sit for hours just holding my driver's license because I felt like I lost my identity. That I felt like a cat was scratching at my brain. Jeez. Yeah, see, that's why I can't do that. That was the last time I ever did it. I don't even like taking pain. Well, as I'm getting older, I'm appreciating pain management mm-hmm. medication. Mm-hmm. Well, like Tiger Lily says, you like control too much for drugs. I do. And uh, Patty, you are a delight. This is Tiger oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. I tell it like it is. I came prepared tonight, baby. That's what she said. <laughs> Apparently, the, the the show tonight should be titled "That's What She Said." <laughs> I, that's your thing, that's, you know. Um, okay, so we talked about fetish. You, you don't have sure. any fetishes. You never. You didn't have. Oh, anything sure, I do, but that you want to elaborate on? I haven't tried already. No, I. No? Nothing left on that bucket list. Bumper. Uh, okay, I left. I left you, and I'm back to you. Oh. I don't really have a, uh, a bucket no, list. I'm just of, getting warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have a bucket list of fetishes to. Uh, you had no, 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 you just, had to have had sexual experiences that you, you wanted to happen. You had to have had a bucket list of things you wanted to try. No, I had one thing done it a few times recently. 
Can, can you tell me what that was? I can't remember this moment. Oh, you can't? Is it too many beers? Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, he's he's going to tell us one thing he hasn't told us yet. Nothing. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, nothing. He's, he's so me. me um, I, uh, me? <laughs> my fetish thing that I would love to do, that I still want to do, I actually want to, uh, and I'm going to segue to my next thing, is role play. I want to be right, full all on. Right, all right. I want to be fully dressed up as like either like a character, like a Harley Quinn, or just like a sexy nurse or something like that. I haven't, I haven't done role play. Mm-hmm. And the role play that I may have done just didn't work out. It just never came to completion. Like oh, Tiger Lily wants to do it on a balcony overlooking a beach. Ooh. Okay. Did that? Is that something you've done? That's Papa? something. No, that's something I would do. I did that again. See, like it's not. I don't necessarily have. I've been married twice, though. So. I don't. I don't. Just because I don't have a bucket list doesn't mean it's not things that I would try. Well, then, okay. You know, well, then not, like, elaborate. Not, I'm trying to pick your brain. No, no, no. I mean, like you know, give You're me, me a, pull teeth here. Like, like that. You say something like that. You know, on uh, ding, 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 Yeah, ding. hey, you know what? I do that. Uh, a I've balcony, never had sex on a cruise ship. A balcony okay. on a cruise ship. There, there's a, a balcony on a cruise I would ship like to do the that. ocean. I would do that. Yeah, you know, but it's not something like. Have you, you ever know. had sex on a rock? Yep. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hood of a car. A um, hood? Oh, well, I haven't had the hood. I don't know if a. I don't know. Trunk couch. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. A hand job while standing in a park. Yep. <laughs> People walking by. How no, about, no. How that about is. in the parking lot of a grocery store as if someone sits in a car? I get it. <laughs> I used to be an exhibition. A national monument? Used to be. Hmm. Done that. No. Mm-hmm. Tiger Lily ding. <laughs> On a picnic table? Done that. Papa? No. No? Oh, okay. It's like dinner time. She's sitting up on the table. You're down oh, there. Oh, I like that. I mean, I've done it on a, uh, like a, a desk table. Not a picnic table, but a table. Mm-hmm. A desk. Nice. Um, Very good. Shower? Have you been in a shower with someone? It's not as... Oh, it's all, it's it's all not, cracked it's not, up. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's... Unless you get a shower that's specially made that keeps warm water on you at all times. No, because, yeah, all of a sudden, you're like, you know you're like, yeah, I just want to get I wish, it. I wish... Remember when we were in... Uh, not Vegas, Atlantic City. That shower? I don't know if you remember that shower. Oh, I do remember that. That, that was a great shower. shower. Then the thing is, the problem like I that. had was was Frank was in that shower. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. don't know what the fuck he did. You always want to get in the shower before Frank. Because Frank believes in pissing in the shower. Yeah. Now. Okay. What is that? Who cares about that? It goes down the drain, dude. Uh, it's no, it, it, that's it, gross. It, really? No, remnants yeah, of yeah. Frank, you just don't want. All right. So well, my yeah, gross. I piss in the shower. My gross. Oh boy. You, you uh, clean everything. I blow my nose in the shower. Okay, I'm still now. But you know what? Yeah, I, watch, but, watch your shower in there. Oh my God. <laughs> I, but not no, that no. gross? It goes down the drain, dude. Oh, yeah, well, I would sure I drain the tub completely. Really? Okay. Right, it goes down, down the drain. I would be more worried about a Frank one, though, because it is Frank, yeah, Frank uncontrolled he's, splatter. He's probably doing walls. something else in the shower besides just yeah, hand. He said yeah, that. He okay, said yeah, that once. Yeah. He would take. He'd probably take a douche if the drain was big enough. Mm. You deuce in the the bath the top. Have you ever done that? The shower, take a deuce in there. No, <laughs> by that's like a waffle stomp. No, not by accident. No. That's a waffle stomp. When a, you step on your shit to get it into the drain. I'm a you know I'm, I'm probably like fifteen twenty years out of those accidental accidental uh, you know <laughs> shit in the shower. Um, well, I just thought you passed the kidney stone, so that's probably next on your list, old man. Probably in there. Uh, I've had some. Thing was, 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 I was going to say, he has them uh, all the time. Yeah. Like candy. What? Fucking, kidney kidney stones, stones, stones are. Poor diet. And you know what the now, fuck? It's, you know, it's, it's because drink. I don't have enough cranberry juice. I yeah. have cranberry juice in the house. I know. Yeah, but it doesn't mean like it's all warm. warm. But so what? Put it in the refrigerator. I don't want to get you upset. Okay, the, really? You know why I didn't put it in the refrigerator? Because I put everything else in the refrigerator. That's true. Um, the first thing you should probably cut out if you get kidney stones is iced Calcium. tea. Iced tea. Yeah. yeah, but what I'm drinking is not real iced tea. Doesn't matter. It still has the tea stuff in it. 
I'm not giving it up. No. Drink water. I, I drink, drink lots of water. Plenty of water. I, I, I don't think you do. Tea. No, he does. No, he doesn't. I do. He um, thinks there's fluoride and, 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 and uh, what do they call those things there? Chemtrails. Oh, my God. I don't know. Yeah, 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 no, they're called <laughs> contrails, condensation trails. I don't know. Right. Yeah, I it's know. it's I, the I warm like jet that. creating cold air out the back, and it becomes a cloud. You think it's they're <laughs> dumping chemicals over some fucking neighborhood in the middle of nowhere? No one's doing that shit. We got to do a conspiracy oh. show some night. Oh, good God! Whoops. I'll take a zero. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't. Get, I can't. I, no. I have no knowledge. No, but you can laugh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so, 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 I said that I wanted to role play. That oh, was yeah. something. What is something that you want to say? Hola, oh, señorita. So you want a, a, a French it's uh, story tower boy? You know. And so, what do you want to say, Bumpa? What's your uh, role play? If I did a role play, no. Uh, what do you want to see your girl do? Oh, I know. He dress up like a cop and just try to. Ooh. You know. You well, have, you have check, handcuffs. Check, check my breath. Check my uh, breathalyzer, baby. <laughs> girl, just a little. blow right here. <laughs> <laughs> a nurse, she said. A nurse. You know, nurse feel good. Something oh, like that. There you go. Okay. Um, maybe a Well, nun. you know, the maybe Happy Halloween. A the Sultan of Spank and the Colonel. A nun? That's gross. No, thank you. That's, that's, that's not fucked right. up. I know. That's why I'm saying It's really right. fucked up. That's yeah, I'm but she's like completely covered up. Don't but you want like tits out sultan, and high heels? And the no, Sultan of pull that dress up. The Sultan of Spank and the Colonel of Kink. Has a special uniform he goes out in to these. Uh, they're called munches. Okay. And uh, like sometimes. These mm-hmm. the well, they call, they, yeah, I think that we should go I, to a I munch could, sometime. I, no, no, I think no we should go to a munch. No. Okay. I know Tiger Lily would, right? Good guy. What's a munch again? A munch is where people meet. Yeah. And they sit and they talk about fetishes. Yeah, but I don't really have a fetish. Yeah. You do role playing. Do they do the fetish that's, show? I, no, I said that that's something new. I can't yeah. really elaborate too much. Do on they, it. they do the fetish? Oh, you can learn. Okay, I do have some Halloween costumes that are pretty badass. I could wear in role play. There you go. Candy corn witch. It's a little like skirt. And Tiger like, Lily's on board for going out to a munch. Okay. So we'll all go to a munch and we'll report back to you on the weekend. <laughs> okay, sounds good. That crunching you hear? He's eating patty cakes. What? It's not, it. No, it's not. Oh, I right. just gave him a potato chip. Yeah. No, it's a pop they'll, they'll put me on blast. These popables are great. They're like they're potato good. chips, but before. they're not. They're like uh, extruded, shaped, and formed. <laughs> Diana says, think. well, you don't usually talk sex at them. You know, it's a meet and greet. Oh, yeah. So okay. is, it more, is it a meet and greet or Can a meet Can it be a play? BYOB, please? <laughs> no, 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 no. They is usually get barked. Oh, like okay, good. Yeah, play. as long as I can have like... Well, they have parties. It's a meet and play. Yeah. All right, let's let's do it up then. We'll try to find a party. Um, we'll do a show at a party. No one will have to use their real names. I mean, we might occasionally hear, uh, you know, a little uh, weirdness in the background. So, um, what's the funniest or most embarrassing thing you guys have ex- ever experienced during like a sexual act, or just being with a partner or your partner at that moment? Like you were talking I earlier, really haven't had is much. that something embarrassing to you? Like it was you, embarrassing to me, but <laughs> I had I had a young lady burp in my mouth when we went to go kiss. That was it know. happens. It happens. I mean, I think you know if you're eighteen, nineteen, that happens. You know, oh, it fucks everything up, blah blah. But at, well, you get the giggle shits. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> at our age, she knows well, the giggle shits. At our oh. age, it's just it, you know. <laughs> What? You farted. I, I did, did not fart. No, I did. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> At our age, it's typically, it's just, you know. Laugh, human, laugh, like whatever. Laugh, 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 like we know it's, it's human function, you know. That's. So well, I, um, I called into Black Dog on Friday night. Yeah. Because oh I had experience. Um, oh my, my most is, it, embarrassing thing I've ever done, in my opinion, was squirting. <laughs> just because I. I just don't understand squirting. And I know you guys touch base on it. And it happens. touch base on it. It does happen. But it, when it happens in the heat of an orgasm, yep. it's it's powerful. embarrassing and it's crazy. And it's, but it's powerful, too. And it's like, oh, do that again. You can't control that. I cannot nope. control a squirt. Nope. Or whatever the fuck that was. It was like, 
I have dated squirters in the past. Yeah, but... Doesn't bug me. But is it, like, consistent? Are they consistent? A couple. One. One was. Does she just... Okay, so I just make sure I go pee first. <laughs> just make sure I'm yeah, 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 I mean, obviously. But there is... Ronnie Mund mm-hmm. said this right. It's not all pee. There might be a little bit in there. Yeah. But it's... Oh, look at your face. Because I just remember that video you showed me one time. Oh, that was awful. Yeah, that yeah. that was like somebody just opened up a gallon jug and poured it out on them. Uh, yeah, that was, that was that was more than pee because even I people find don't pee that. that much. That is somewhere. Somebody yeah, sent that fi- to me. Find it, show me, because I like shit like that. Yeah, no, you wouldn't like this. No, it's, I might, it's excessive. It's I, more, I wouldn't like animal sex. <laughs> I'll look at squirting sex. <laughs> Anyway, well, apparently, uh, Patty Cake's <laughs> favorite genre of porn yes. is gay porn. Yes, she likes is. hot dog on hot dog. Do not and look at my phone. Can... <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at my browser history, baby. I was alone last night. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> wow. I'm just getting warmed up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know what? A girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Because <laughs> she got a well, so great what, ass. So what does it matter, though? Why judge me on that? I don't judge. Have I ever judged anybody? No. Yes, I have judged people. Um, <laughs> um, Worcester Worcester Town, Dallas, which we're doing in another week. By the way, I'd like I to say so. hello to all of our friends. And tonight is a Turning Points night. I know that they're on hiatus. Uh, uh, I didn't know that. Okay. Well, yeah. They weren't on tonight, so I call yeah, that a you're, hiatus. You're not for, on Twitter there, Bumpa? Yeah, I've got I, a, uh, I haven't checked it in a couple of days. So. Well, make sure you listen to the Black Dog Radio Show every Friday <gasps> we night. We need to do our show. 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Taking the country by storm. The Black Dog Radio Show. Because once you go black, you never go back. Not true. Hey, where are all the white women at? I don't have that sound effect queued up. I that don't was have extreme. it. I had to do that. I got an empty spot right here that for was it. Like, I have an empty oh my spot. God, that it's was the like one thing. Speed. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh my god. I, that's the one thing I don't have. Oh all shit, that was up. awesome. We also have the caramel conservative. Carmy. And, uh, you know, he's apparently he turns women on all over America, mm-hmm. including his beautiful oh. wife, Jen. Who uh, calls him on a lot of bullshit and tries mm, to get him deported on a regular basis? We love that. Oh my god! Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, he's we, snoring over here. And you know, um, no, we missed Huber today. Huber um, actually, um, I was going to say scoped. What the fuck is this? He, speaker. He, he's speaker. He did his. his he did a little bit in the beginning of our show. Sorry, Pumpas. I know he's asleep. Listen. I'm putting him to sleep, I guess. I'm talking about I'm porn. Not, I'm listening to you. I'm, I'm looking at something hop over here. Well, he's looking at porn. Because yeah. I, talked, I talked about the gay porn thing. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> you know, and Snarky, gay for pay. which I cannot follow Snarky to save my life. She's right. all over the place. She's all over the place. But she likes a lot of stuff. She listens to a lot of internet ha- radio. Yes. She's actually, she's hot shit. I love her. <laughs> oh, bless you, Jesus, baby. Jesus, even muting that didn't help. And then we have, there's so many lo- other Ta-da. people that know us and like tweet us that we need to follow. And kind of love Drink, us. Drinks with Larry, Cow Potato. There's like all Cal-Pody. these. Cal Capote, okay. Capote, yeah. He's, There's like so many different like... Um, it is tough. I find myself... I'm more of a, of a video The guy. Naked Porch, have you seen No. It? The ever, Naked I Porch follow me. I follow them, they follow us. They've tweeted us, they followed us, they shared us. One day, I swear to God, for five hours, him and I, or whoever was running that site, was like, tweet, 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 retweet, retweet. It was like... Five hours worth of retweets. Thank God we and have you, because I can't twat for uh, to, to save my well, life. Well, I got the twat, so let me yeah, let me use it. Uber, said. right on Uber. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. Our boy Uber. Yeah, mm-hmm. fifteen minutes. Uh, he hasn't been funny. Is fifteen much. minutes? He just yeah. did his show today. Did he? Okay. Yep. At nine o'clock. Uh, oh. Nine a.m. P.M. I just said uh, no on shit. my way here. Oh, that's why he was. Yeah. Okay. So on my way here, I was like, "What the hell? I got Jesus, a notification." Jesus, eleven fifteen already on the yep. Eastern Daylight mm. Saving. 
time. There is no S on the end of saving. Well, for all of our friends, our bromance shows, whatever you want to call them, mm-hmm. um, you know, just give us a little... Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> right? And back again. You know, you're not the first person to sing this song on this show. Some people just can't resist. <laughs> Chase right now, when he listens in the morning, will be singing along. And I bet Tiger will be singing. Oh my god, too. next week, Roseanne is back. Oh. I know you hate that idea. Oh. I'm excited because I, I got my laugh from her. That's my girl. I get my laugh from this guy. <laughs> 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 All right, are we still going? We are still going. How much time we got? Yeah, we have 25 minutes. So All right. We should oh, she's got more. Qu- she's got more questions. Boy, she's been busy. Corporate's in town, and she gets busy. I know, right? She's so excited. <laughs> I sat in the car for about five minutes. I ate my lunch. I said, ooh, what can I bring to the show tonight? And I was, I told you, you know, I'm newly single, so... Well, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little lonely, so I'm looking at all this sex smelly stuff. smelly pirate hooker. I am. I'm trying not to be so smelly, though. I'm trying to attract the new pirate. <laughs> oh, my. Hopefully, we with a hook. Oh, my. <laughs> no, the hook. No. Uh, anyway. Fuck. <laughs> this touch so, screen is too easy. So, um. Oh, Tiger Lily's back for walking the dog. So five types of foreplay that really turn women on. Do you have any ideas? Not a fart. Oh. Guys, take notes. Take notes. Here. Take notes. You finally get that ombre you desire alone. You are thirsty, and he's the only thing that can quench your thirst. Until he kills it and fumbles his way up and down your body. Chico, ¿qué te pasa? That sounds good, right? I know. She I am from Miami. Yeah. Don't you know how to get a woman revved up? Some men really don't. It's called foreplay, fellas. Oh, my. And most, if not all, women desire it before sex. Oh, my God. Yes. You go in raw dog, that shit's not happening. I need a little bit of... No, you don't. I mean, you, you go to put yourself in there. Uh, yeah, and then I'm like adjusting and going, oh, well, okay, it'll get going in about a second. And then it's over before I'm getting going. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And yeah. the guy is like, oh, that was great. Huh? <laughs> I'm like, really? Uh, really? Uh, you woke me up like, for this? Uh, that, that's not it. Mm-hmm. Even if it's a quickie, women need to be turned on before getting it on. All right, all right, all right. Also, according to Roy... Oh, like the finger? Is that what it is? Mm, that helps. Hey, whatever works, works. Grease the Also, pipe. Reco- <laughs> according to relationship and sex coach Patricia Johnson, sexual desire in women frequently ex- is experienced concurrently with arousal, not as a pr- precursor to it. In long-term relationships, waiting to have sex until you feel desire is a very bad idea. And foreplay is, in fact, a technique for creating desire. In layman's terms, foreplay leads to her wanting you and your penis. <laughs> what foreplay for women moves should men work before sex? Here's a few Latinas. Here's oh a few Latinas. Oh my God, who the hell All right, so obviously, <laughs> Shut up! That's, that's my most so obviously, the kissing and caressing. Sure. Because the kissing, like, especially when you start deep kissing, yes? Tiger Lily says kissing massage. Yes. Agrees with you right there. Yes. So even that, you're just getting, just the kissing part, you know, just spending a few minutes kissing. Stroking. Yeah. The girl, you know, oh, I'm going to add one that's <laughs> not in here. I like the biting on my neck, the biting on my chest. I'm into that. I need that to get me on. Biting on the chest? I like biting. I'm a biting kind of gal. Maybe that goes into my fetish phase oh my. that I was talking about earlier. What's he you know what? If I, get, if I get like a little bruise from the night before... I'm oh happy like battle scars. Yeah, battle scar, <laughs> battle scar Titanica. <laughs> it begins with a kiss. That's what Yvette from Atlanta said. She's big on smooching, and it even demands her hubby to brush his teeth before any tongue action. I don't care. 
I even want it in the morning. If you got some stinky ass breath, I don't care. It'll, you know, we'll get in the mood and we'll get going and our mouths will get working. It doesn't matter. It's, it's all about the moment. You got to go with the moment and just enjoy it. I don't want to predetermine, like, you need a shower, you need this, you need that. No. So you're into the spur of the moment kind of thing? I'm spur of the moment with everything in life. I will tell you at one o'clock in the afternoon, we're going Let's camping at go three. In. Oh. I'm I'm spur of the moment. I'm, I'm going to tell Whoops. you we're going out tonight. We're doing this. We're doing. I just bought concert tickets for a show tonight. I am so spur of the moment because I want to live in the moment. I yes, I like to you know predetermine things. Like I also might say that night that in the morning say hey Ooh, yeah. tonight I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to be with you. I can't wait to your naked <laughs> next to me. Run run run. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what my husband did. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, sometimes a gal just wants to be kissed. Another um, another chica always needs to be kissed and caressed before sex. I like Apparently, she was slow. on the Hispanic website. Today. Yeah, I didn't know it was chicas until I'm reading this. So okay, so I didn't pre-read this. I read the mm-hmm. title. No, not subtitles. What do you call it? Highlights. The uh, outline, the outline, the buzz line. Yeah. All right. So boob action. Again, yes, all me love boob action. Never did. All okay, so now I do. Not many men know the nipple is not just the boob. It's the whole boob. It's the the ner- like a nervous not nervous point, but like the nerves are there. Yeah, but you gotta wait like a half hour what before you, you touch the nipple. Why half hour? Why do you say that? Oh, the desire builds up and it's like, touch a nipple. All right, well, you're into the four hour shit. If you if we're down to the half hour, you can give me like 10 minutes. You can kiss me, kiss me, kiss me, bite my neck, nibble, 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 and all of a sudden, yeah, go for the boobs. I mean, you got to get the five hours in and uh, let's see. It says, kiss them, lick them, suck them. No matter what your preferred method is, many women like to have their breasts and nipples fond- fondled and teased. But for okay, the love so of all that is sexy, don't twist them. Oh, you Our don't breasts want to tune are in sensitive, Tokyo. so men don't need to do too much to turn them on. <laughs> Tiger Lily says the under <laughs> caress is hot. You know? Yes. This is the sex song yes, that I go yes. with. I I'm mean, ready. You think about it. I it's think I'm going out after the show, guys. <laughs> eight minutes, 37 seconds long. And that is far longer than Bump is ever going to last. I mean, so uh, the cor- not true. To find exactly, though, the caress underneath. Is that like, you know, under oh, under shit. the dress type thing? <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, under the dress thing. Chris Isaac. Oh, oh, under the breast. No, under oh, the breast oh. is important. Yeah. Oh, I thought he said under the dress. <laughs> well, under the dress. Well, under, under the, the breast. I'm trying to figure out exactly what she's referring to. Um, but this song right here is is a song that I would put on repeat and have mm. sex with. I like Wicked Game by Chris Isaac or Stone Sour. Actually, I really like Stone Sour, but I'll take either or. All right, so I read you two. The third one is Vagina Stroking. That's non point. You wouldn't have sex to that? Um, yes. <laughs> it's not quite. <laughs> I can feel it coming in the air night. You know, that was from the Miami Vice soundtrack from the 2004. movie. 2004. Yep. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. And now we talked about it, so it's uh, yeah, it's legal. We can use it. And they're going to be Thank in you. town May 8th at Wally's in New Hampshire. I don't know the rest of their music. And your girl is going to be there, front row center. You, you don't have a ticket for me? I'm going girls only, babe. <laughs> That's all more reason to bring me. No, I'm meeting um, my friend Lisa, my friend Joy, and my friend. Um, what's the other chick's name? I, can't think of it. I think Kristen's coming with me. I might get a hotel with Kristen overnight. Why not? The hotel. It's six, so you're gonna have to report back on that. I uh, yeah. <laughs> Sixty-five dollars for a hotel room. It's on a Tuesday night. That's cheap. Yeah, and it's um. Mohegan's eight, 150 eight bucks. Eight minutes right. walking from it. So, yeah, I'm, think, I'm thinking about it, okay, but it's a Tuesday. So, we're talking eight minutes walking or eight minutes staggering? Oh, staggering, baby. <laughs> this girl's bringing an 18-pack and a bottle of vodka to the room. You kidding me? <laughs> no, actually, no. I'll probably just a bottle of vodka. I don't need that. <laughs> All right, so anyway, vagina stroking. 
Oh, how I love when my boo puts his hands down there. But first, I want him to caress her over my pants, then over my panties, then, you know. It doesn't have, <laughs> it doesn't have to be rough. Light stroking of the ladies' nether region can make us wet, which is essential before sex. I need another Again, bear. a Sahara Desert situation is not conducive to great sex. No. So give her some love before you stick it in. <laughs> Breakfast. Breakfast. This one come on, <laughs> makes me weird. Before a man attempts to seduce a woman in the morning, he better get her a cafecito and bring her breakfast in bed. Whoops. Specifically, a specifically, cafe. Specifically. Specifically. <laughs> I am on, specific I'm on my third beer. <laughs> That's your, oh, the, limit, limit, I, limit. Oh, I don't, no, this is dumb. I don't like this one. Go breakfast. breakfast. I, I'm not going to read the breakfast because I No, you don't have sex after eating because no, sex my belly's after, full. Yeah, and you're just like. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hun, you get on t- no, it's like, Hun, get on top. She's like, Ugh. No, breakfast I is sex before top. breakfast, or I can be breakfast That's sushi. She said. I can be the sushi. They can make me fart, so <laughs> probably not right off the breakfast. Oh, you farted! <laughs> I can see this now. Hey, baby, how are you? Oh, you farted! Okay, yeah. Wait okay. till he leaves the room. <laughs> <laughs> getting and the last one of my little thing I'm reading is magic mic moves and I didn't know, again, oh no I, please explain it, you need to when I before. asked Nadine what she likes during pl- foreplay her answer was simple magic mic no she doesn't want Channing Tatum in the flesh well maybe she does but she can't have him so she will settle for his sexy moves yes stripper moves she confirmed get to swerving hombres <laughs> Yeah, that no, that's not happening. Or something. That yeah, I don't. Want, I, I'm too old for that shit. And besides, I was never. Right, I danced like the white, like 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 call the white guy Carlton, anyway, right? Yeah, like Carlton from. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah from, I, I can't. I can't move. So that was kind of. I like the beginning of that post, but not the end. But hey, I, I've checked off everything on my list. <laughs> I'm. A, I, I like to toss around, but you know. Yeah, explain that. You know, like, well, you're if, a big dude. You no, can like, toss if, around. Yeah, I guess if you're making out with a girl and you're you're ready to whatever, you know, or you want her in a certain position, boom, you move her. You know, you make it happen. So you're like a spinner, a spinner, a flipper. Yeah, you, know, you know, they call him flipper. So flipper. if you're laying on, her ba- on like your back, him. if you're laying on your back and you're kind of like she's like sort of on you, like maybe on her side or whatever, are you like grabbing her and pulling her on you? Are you flipping on. her over and you're jumping on her? All I can Both. think of is if he Both. gets on top of somebody, it's total eclipse of the girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you you can't see Not nothing but a hairy ass. You can't see nothing but a hairy ass and a couple of legs sticking out to the side. I, it's just uh, <laughs> wrapped around, you bastard. Yeah, I am. You mm. are. I do need another beer, though. I got Me too. Until no. Over. Yep. We get longer. Not really. A little bit. It's eleven thirty. Not Fuck. really. All right. Why? Right. Oh, well, would you have a weather update to give us? <laughs> <laughs> we are expecting a storm up here in the northeast tomorrow, tonight into tomorrow, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's supposed Finish. to be snowing sixty percent right now. Yeah. Let me take a look out the window. It's supposed to stop by. I'm going to do my weather report. Ten a.m. Eleven a.m. It's dark. Is it cloudy with a I chance of meatballs? It's cloudy with a chance of shit. <laughs> All right. You've been listening to the Wicked Busy Show. I know the fucked up show. It was great. Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> We Is it fucked up because I showed up with some sex no. notes? No. Oh, I, I actually mentioned that at the beginning. That we'd go yeah, we would go into the gutter yeah. when Patty yeah. Yeah. Oh. If you had been listening, like it should have been. I was studying for science and social yeah, studies today. Well. Hi. You're listening to the greatest radio station in the world. Yes. What's a solvent? Uh, it clean shit. No. What's a... Uh, uh, What's matter? <laughs> I don't know. It's a solid. <laughs> so we did liquid, solid, gas. Oh. We did all that stuff. It's science. Liquid, so. solid. And the Treaty of Paris or something? 
Yeah, the liquid solid and <laughs> gas. <laughs> the Paris Treaty of 1783. Auto horse shit. He never need to know. Yeah, that. he needs to know. Well, he needs to know it by really tomorrow. Don't. You just need to know what happened in the past, basically. And, and then we watch Super Nanny. Oh, oh shit! I'm out of here. <laughs> Cops are here. Uh, oh shit. All right, so this I don't is, have my ID. <laughs> that sucks. It sucks to be me. No, it, you've been listening to show number ninety-five. Holy shit! We're five shy Ooh, of a hundred. We that have to plan something big. The for big 100. dog needs to get out here for the hundredth show. Five weeks. They get five weeks, right? We we'll meet them halfway. <laughs> Ohio. What? I don't want to talk to those people. Gary, in Ohio. Indiana. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll rent out a hollowed out, fucking burnt out building in Gary, Indiana. For 50 bucks for a week, huh? For 50 bucks for a month. Yeah. I mean, shit, man. I drove through that. We got. We got Isn't Dairy that Queen. when Michael Jackson was born? Yeah, we, 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 we stopped house. at the house. And I remember that. Cookies. There were people there. Yeah, All cookies getting there? pictures. Yeah. No, we, <laughs> we, we, no we, we got Dairy Queen. No, I was no, getting another cookie. We got the Dairy Queen. Oh. Oh, we Play missed like yesterday. Yesterday was free ice cream cone day at Dairy Queen. Quick Dairy Queen, right? He asked for a small soft serve. They asked if you wanted a quart or a half gallon. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's weird. I'm like, I want a cup. <laughs> Just pour it in a cup. So, you like know, a soda you cup. Pint, like, you, like, pint. you want the one that gives you going to give you a big headache? Oh. Like, <laughs> no, just a little headache is fine. Oh. It was fucking scary. This place had fucking bars on the windows and shit like that. Sounds like Miami. Oh, it looked Street. like an abandoned building. It just. So give me folks. some credit for all my notes tonight. We Goodbye. give you credit. Okay, thank you. Next week we're milking the prostate. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait to hear that report. <laughs> make, sure, <laughs> make sure you listen next week. Bumpa gets his prostate milked. Film at eleven. Come on, Bumpa. Bend over. I got some gloves. Milk in the prostate. And on that note, I'm Byron. I'm Bumpa. I'm Patty Cakes. And you've been listening to a wicked piss of sh- <laughs> <laughs> wicked piss of show. <laughs> 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 now, y'all have, y- y'all have a good show. night, all right? Apparently, this is a good note to leave on. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you guys have a really good night. And don't drive like us, all right? <laughs> Are we driving? Are we yeah, we're all driving. I'm crashing on the couch. I'm driving. Yeah, you're always driving, asshole. Oh, shit. Time for That's what she bar. said. <laughs> Ooh, drive me, baby. Drive me. I've been on point with Actually, this I'm going to. I need to go out. I need a boyfriend. This has been a Barbara Langley production. <laughs>